And we are live. Watch yourself. We are live. We are live. All right. What do you got there? What's going on, people? Wagwan. Live, we're live. We're live in the kitchen today. We are live. We are we live. Are so live. Because we are not dead. <laughs> we are live. We are doing some cooking. Actually, I gotta take some of this. Let me just get a couple of these things. Give myself some room. We are live. We are live. We are live. We are live. Hi, everybody. I just wonder if I can run outside. What do you think? Possibility? We're going to do some cooking today. Nino's getting all his stuff together. His mise en place. That's what all this stuff is. Mise en place. We are live. We are live. We got anybody out there in cooking land? Where are the people? You'll come. The people. It's just like the road. It's like build the road and the people will come. They will come. We are live. We are live. <laughs> Let's go. All right. We'll just wait for everybody to trickle in as you get yourself ready to go. And I'm just trying to. Oh, oh. look at. Oh. That's, that's not funny. That's not funny. We're just funny. trying to get the tools all sharp here, guys. Get them all ready, all prepared. Because you can't, the worst thing is to use a dull knife to do anything. So I like to keep my knives nice and sharp, keep the edges on them. And I've got a few variations here. I've got uh, this I like to call my chef knife. That one I like to call my chef knife. This is my boning knife. See, it's a lot smaller. A lot smaller than the chef knife. This can get in and do intricate little things. And of course, this is my cleaver. And I mean, to be honest with you, I, at times I use this for just about anything because it works well. It works very well. Just gotta ensure that once you sharpen your knives, Make sure you get all that excess steel all removed from there because you don't want that in your food. So you gotta wipe them off, you gotta wash them off, whatever it is you need to do to to um, ensure that you don't get any of that excess steel. Uh, any of that excess steel in uh, your food, and that, that cannot be healthy. So so who we got here? We got an MBD on board? Sharing. You have anybody on board? No, just sharing. Sharing is caring. Caring is sharing. So I'm sure you guys out there wondering, what on earth does this Nino guy got in mind tonight? Well, it's going to be an oldie but goodie, guys. I've got an oldie but goodie tonight, and um, we're going to have some fun with it. We're going to have lots of fun with it, matter of fact. Um, we're going to be doing, uh, we're going to be cooking up a few variations tonight. And I'll tell you all about it as soon as we get uh, some more people on board. Get you guys, what time is it now? Seven o'clock. So y'all just getting home from work or school or wherever you've been running your errands all day. And you're just settling in. You just finish your dinner. And I'm about to walk you through what you should be making for dinner tomorrow. 
or possibly even the next day if you've already got plans for tomorrow. But uh, whatever it is, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be, it's going to be fast. It's going to be sweet. But we're going to have a good little chat. We're going to be discussing this whole process, and we're going to be going through it. We're going to be taking questions. We're going to do a question and answer uh, session. But at the end of this, let me tell you, you're going to be able to make the dish that I'm going to be preparing tonight. And you notice I deliberately haven't told you what that dish is yet, but we'll get around to it. We'll get around to talking about it, but we're going to have one heck of a good time with it. That's for sure. And it is, it is an oldie, but goodie. It's a, it's a dish that you can, you can actually have for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah, it's one of those. We're just waiting for the people to come. Build the rose and they will come. And they will come. <laughs> you got a lot of mushrooms here. You're putting a lot of mushrooms in there. You know what? It's, it's a lot of mushrooms, but one thing you got to remember about mushrooms, they tend to shrink a lot. Okay. And they also retain a lot of moisture. So be a lot of moisture is coming out of these mushrooms. Okay. Well, since Sorry. we're waiting for our gang to arrive, you, you want to go and check for your trip? Yeah, yeah, I think I'll uh, get the flashlight and go in the shed. Okay. And check for the tree. Ooh, hello, beautiful people. Come on in. Do you think uh, if I steal some of this pepper, he'll notice? I don't think so. I don't think he's going to notice. We're cooking. I think I'm going to check in the garage first. Okay, might be there. We're cooking and chatting, everybody. Cooking and chatting. Anybody yet? Oh. We are still Low battery. I got to get my plug. All right, I'm back. I had to get my plug. I can't believe that I'm not fully charged up here. That's my mistake. You think I could run outside like this? Sure, why not? It's only <coughs> minus eight, minus 15 with minus the wind chill. That's okay. Mm, okay. So in that case, it's time to break out the parka. Break out the parka. By the time you come back out of eating all these peppers, Where is everybody? Nobody wants to chat with me. Where is he? You got it? All right, guys, let's go. I need all you beautiful people to come in and have a good chat. I mean, right now I'm just talking to myself. I need some coffee, actually.
I think we can move all this for the moment. I'm not going to ruin the surprise and tell you what we're cooking. Tariq, you're always here when we're having our lives, that's for sure. Happy New Year, Happy New Year. We decided to come on. This is our first live for 2022, the first live of the year. And we are cooking. Nino had to go to the garage to get some of his equipment, but he'll be right back. Speak of the devil, there he is. Did you find what you went to look for? No, because I told him it wasn't in there, but he wouldn't listen to me. Okay. Because the flashlight battery is so low, I might as well be walking in the dark. Oh. So let's say the flashlight needs. Um, new batteries because that wasn't working, so I didn't quite. Okay, Tariq says, Happy New Year. Hey, Tariq, what's happening? What's aching, shaking other than the bacon? And we got some of that too. All right, so we're going to be cooking soon, guys. I'm going to be improvising. I'm going to have to improvise in that I'm trying to find a tray. What's going on, Tariq? Happy New Year, brother. I'm trying to find a tray so I can place on the bottom of my oven. So my mixture, once I put it in the oven, once it starts cooking, it tends to overflow and it's going to make quite the mess. So I'm trying to um, save myself some time by not... Uh, not so much by not making a mess because I don't think it's preventable, but just to kind of prepare myself for it. So I think what I'm going to have to do is I'm probably going to have to put some some foil paper down in the bottom. So in case Ooh, but you have another, you have a small tray and you have the other. You cannot use the small tray because they can't. Once you put the the uh, the, the the pie dish in the small tray, it's going to be tilted on an angle. You can never have it tilted on an angle because it's just going to pour out. You can't put it in there and put thing on the bottom because that's going to make a mess in the... Well, this is what I've been telling you for the last few hours. That can only hold one. Right. So, can I two of them hold in here? There's already two in there. And one in here? Okay, so that's three. And one in here? Okay, and that's four. Right, and I said you can make four at a time. And who's going who's gonna to make four at a time? I'm going to put them all in at the same time. You can't. You don't. Have, you don't. You can't put them all in at the same time. He doesn't listen, guys. Sure you can. How? They're gonna. They, you're not. You don't have enough of the thing because you said you can't put them in no, the no. other pan. You know, guys. Jessica Elliott wants to know what we're cooking. I'll, I'll tell, tell you. you. We'll tell you what we're cooking if you bring three more people to the to the live. Bring some more people to the live, and I'll tell you what I'm cooking. How about that, Jessica? That's a, it's not a bad offer. We need some people. Oh, Ahmed AC says, Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Ahmed. Ahmed, 
We're Welcome doing some to the cooking. channel. All right, we're here. We're here. We're gonna be doing some cooking. Jessica and, Ellenson, um, what? Yeah, what? I need you to bring some people to my live. Everybody Give wants to know what up. we're what we're cooking tonight. It's we're a gonna surprise. we're gonna be cooking a very interesting dish, and it's gonna be a dish that is going to be for. Let me give you a hint. Oh, Tafari, yo, yo, yo. What's going on, Tafari Malik? My, hey. My little songbird. Well, the only thing I'm going to tell you, can you stop eating all the peppers? <laughs> Sorry. Every time I turn around, you're eating a piece. Sorry. So, here, here's what. Hey, Camille, what's going on? Hey. Hey. So check this out. So the, the uh, dish that I'm going to be making tonight, if you're a, if you're a seafood lover, you're going to like this dish. If you're a vegetarian, you're going to like know this Camille dish. Camille is a serious vegetarian. Okay. If you're a kind well, of actually, person that... I don't know. Are you a vegan, a vegetarian? Okay, Jessica says she brought Camille and Tafari. Now she wants to say, salmon. What, are we, what are we cooking? What's up? Salmon? <laughs> I don't know about salmon. No, we're not cooking Yeah, so salmon. again, if, if, you're a, if you're a seafood lover, you're going to like the dish. If you're, a, if you're a vegetarian, you're going to like the dish. And also, if you like if you like bacon, you're gonna like this dish. So let me tell you this now: this this dish is for everyone. It's gonna be for everyone. And um, should I tell them what the dish is? Sure. Jessica right. brought she brought people to here play. We go. I'm gonna be making. Wait, um, give them a hint to see if they can. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, let's let's give them a hint. Okay, show here them your mise en place. So this is this a is what hint. we're gonna use. This is a hint. Oh, wait a minute here. Wait a minute. Now, an intricate part and a very important ingredient in this dish involves yeah. egg. So I'm wondering if vegetarians, are, are vegetarians allowed to eat? Uh, <laughs> did we, are they, are they allowed to Ooh, eat? Ooh, Tafari eat, says his mom eggs. likes the door. That was all part. Oh, Jessica guessed it. She said quiche. Yes, we're making quiche. Yes, we're making quiche. We're, I'm going to be making a quiche of three variations. Camille said veggie pot pie. Veggie pot pie. No, That's close, Camille. That's close. Uh, egg is a very important part of this dish, so I don't know how well that goes over. I don't well, know. Well, ask if... Camille. What, what's what's the deal with the vegan, vegetarian? I, I, mix, I tend to mix it up. Well, I, I get confused all the time. Right? Maybe, maybe we should all maybe so we should if, all switch over to being vegetarian. If the dish has, if the dish has eggs in it, does is, that constitute a vegetarian? I, is I it know. still vegan or is it a, is it vegetarian? Because it's but I mean, we are putting some shrimp in. I mean, for me, I just love food. Period. <laughs> so. And we, we're making one with some bacon. So of course, that one's not vegetarian. Yeah, we got the bacon. We've got shrimp. In one, we've also got. Um, Mia Carter says no. If it, there's eggs in it, it's not. Oh my goodness <laughs> grief! So now, so that so so it has to have no egg, no shrimp, obviously no bacon uh -huh. for you to be able to say it's vegetarian. So this is uh, quiche can't be vegetarian. Okay, so it can't be vegetarian. So you, oh, oh, sorry, she says not vegan. Not it's vegan. not vegan. So my mind is just racing a mile a minute here to think about how I could do. We need we need some education on that. We do, we do. Because I'm very confused. Because some people eat eggs, don't uh -huh. they? I don't know. I don't know. No animal products for vegan is what Tafari is saying. See, we went as far. And, oh, and there's cheese. There's a hell of a lot of cheese. So there's a lot of cheese, cheese, but there's also but there's, there's also vegan a, cheese. A vegan cheese, a yeah. plant based. Plant based cheese. Camille says vegan is free from animal, whether it's sky, land, or sea products. And ve vegetarians eat dairy, but they don't eat meat. Okay, hmm. vegan is no dairy. Okay, you guys are telling so I was, us. <laughs> so, I, so I was right when I said a vegetarian. I didn't say vegan, I said vegetarian. Or am I wrong? You say they do eat dairy? Vegetarian? They do eat some dairy, yes. Okay. But, but yes, vegetarians eat dairy, but no meat. Mm. Okay. Interesting. Well, thank you for that little edu education. We we, uh, made, guys. we we made sure that there is no there is no animal fat involved with the the shell of the quiche. <laughs> we made sure of that, but we can't say unequivocally for the uh, the egg. So what we're gonna do, guys, is uh, I'm gonna start. 
by uh, by getting up our vegetable, getting our vegetables all cut up here. So we can. Can you handle this while I start getting the uh, your mise en place? Your mise en place. And one of the things that I'm going to be adding to this, guys, I I'm going to be one of the, the main ingredients I'm going to be using today is spinach. Okay, so I've got a nice. Got a nice big bag of spinach here. Okay, and as big as this may look, anyone that has ever cooked spinach, they know that once you put heat to this, it will shrink to almost nothing. Okay, so once we get all our ingredients together, inclusive of our, our spinach, <laughs> we're gonna be allowing our Ooh, ingredients to cool. Camille says that I look amazing, by the way. Oh, does she? Yes. We once we get all our ingredients together. And we're all set. We're going to allow the ingredients to cool before we put it in the pie shell. Otherwise, the hot and the heat from the ingredient may break down the pie shell, and we don't want that. And another thing that I thing that I'll be using as well to add a, a flavor is uh, coconut cream. I've got some coconut coconut milk here, but it, this is in the powder form. So I'm going to be adding this to the spinach mixture, and believe me, it's going to kick it up another notch. And you're going to just you're going to just enjoy this. It's gonna be phenomenal. So, I'm gonna get started here. I don't well, know how. Well thank you, you, Madame Camille. And Tafari says that his mom said to tell us that her vote is for the pescatarian. Pescatarian. All right. Right on. Yes, Annie. He, this is French, and uh, it's definitely fancy. But you know, it's not too fancy that you wouldn't be able to cook this thing because this is kind of like. You throw everything that's in the fridge into one of these pie shells, and that's a meal into itself. Like, you can put whatever you want in there. Yeah, it's entirely up to you. Yeah. And I mean... If somebody were to said, Carefully, you don't break that. No, I'm not breaking If somebody were to said that, you know, this is the these are the ingredients that you need for a quiche, what I will say to you is, you go in your refrigerator, and anything that you find that you actually like, dislike, want to get rid of, Kids like or don't like, and that you want to put in your in your quiche, you're certainly welcome to do that. Okay, and once you just put it in the quiche, what, what was that? Just put it in the quiche. Put it in the quiche. Put, the put quiche. anything in the quiche. Put, put it in the quiche. What kind of quiche you're making? Whatever you can find in the refrigerator. That's right. Just, so just put it in the I'm quiche. about to um to get some of these ingredients all prepared. And Lo, you want to yeah. be talking to your. Our peeps here. Well, while we do this, I am making myself I'm gonna start off. coffee, and you are showing them how you do. Oh, I don't think they can see you all the way over there. There, why don't you come on this side yeah, of your vegetables? There, there we go. So they can see idea. your wonderful uh, chopping so, skills. I'm just getting going here, guys. Just I've actually peeled my peppers, and I'm just getting slicing them in a what we call julienne. Now, Jessica okay. wants to know if you poke holes in the bottom. Uh, of the yes, pie that's that's one of the things. Thanks for noticing that, Jessica. I did. What I did with these pie shells, these are store-bought shells. So you can put them in the oven. And what I would advise you to do is if you're making this dish, you should take the... Are you okay? <laughs> you can take the pie shell. What I did was I, I set the oven at 400 degrees, and I placed them in the oven for roughly about 8 to 10 minutes. And what that will do, that will kind of like uh, pre-cook them a little bit. Because otherwise, if you were to pour the custard, the egg mixture in there, you're going to get a lot of rawness on the bottom and on the sides. So your pie will be cooked. It'll be nice and golden brown on top, but your bottom will be just soggy because and, and uncooked. So I opted to cook it for roughly about 8 to 10 minutes at 400 degrees. Once you do that, you'll get that a lot of steam will be created on the bottom of the pie. And as a result, you start to get some rising. You would then get it, get a fork. And just start poking holes in it. And that will do two things. It will release the steam, okay? And it will all, also allow it to, to get uh, cooked and golden brown on the bottom side. Okay, so that's why uh, there's holes in there, Jessica. Thanks for noticing that. Julienne vegetables. So I'm just getting my vegetables ready. And it's a, an assortment of peppers I've got here. And I'm purposely taking my time, guys, because... <laughs> Fingers don't taste good in this dish. Now, Ahmed is saying that meat-tarian is the best option. So meat I guess Oh, likes, I like that. He likes I your like shit, that. he meat says. meat <laughs> I love that. Well, guys, 
what he's doing right now is what he likes to call mise en place. That's French for getting prepared. Getting prepared, getting getting everything ready. All right. His so we're just gonna mise, mise en my mise en place. place. Once I get all this going, and I'm trying to trying to keep them as uh, thinly julienne sliced as possible, guys. I'm not making making them making them big big at all. They're really nice and small. And you're going to be able to eat through these, cut through these, manage them in the pie a lot better than if you have big chunks. But listen, that's entirely up to you as to how you want to go about cutting them. It's entirely up to you. You cut them the way you want. It's your dish. And you got to have fun with it. You got to be creative with it. And you got to have fun with it. And I mean, really, you can put anything you want in there. Anything you want at all. You have some leftover meat you want to put in there. You have some now, extra Annie, vegetables you want to put in there. Annie Complex says, Hey, Annie Complex, welcome. Um, can you use a store-bought shell? Oh, these you are store-bought. There you go. These are store-bought shelves. Actually, uh, can you show them the box? Show I can. No, the box. the box is long gone. The box is long gone. The box um, is already in the garbage. I'm not going to go for them, but in any event, uh, you can actually make your own shell. I've opted to just buy the shell because it is a lot of work to create the shell, and the store-bought shells are a great option, and they do lend themselves well to a to an excellent product. So don't be afraid to buy a store-bought one. We have two types. You have you have a product that is just all uh, vegetables, vegetable base, and you have one that is made with shortening. Okay. So we have two different types in the store. So you have options. So we can suffice the the uh, the viewers that don't like uh, meat and are vegetarians as such, and we can also satisfy the ones that are meat lovers. You or or meat. What, 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 I mean, said meatarian. Is that what it's called? Meatarian. <laughs> I tell you. Now you could make this thing really interesting if you were. If you had your dietary restrictions, mm -hmm. like you can be vegan. I'm just thinking. I'm just thinking. If you, you can if make you actually, kinds. what would you actually put in this to bind it? Instead of a, what the egg? Instead of the egg. I'm just well, concerned as to whether or not you could probably well, use. Well, that like would a, be a question for Camille. Could you use like a hummus? Would that now, be, that uh, that Tariq says, how far along are we with our YouTube monetization? Well, oh, well. <laughs> well Tariq, funny you should ask. We are so close, but yet so, so far. far. Now um, We've got our subscribers. We've got over 1,000 subscribers. Yeah. And as far as our viewership goes, we need 4,000 viewing hours. I think we're roughly at... We need about 8, 500 hours. 900 and... No, we're not that far. We need about... Are you kidding me? We're 3,900. Not say, all of those hours count okay, towards so how, monetization. How, how many more hours do you think we need? We need about 500 hours. 500 hours. Yeah. Maybe a little so less. So, guys, if each one of you guys stop right now and call up... <laughs> 500, <laughs> of, call your up 500 of your friends. <laughs> and tell them to and watch tell them us. tune first. in. Yes. We can actually knock this off tonight and we can all celebrate together. Yes. <laughs> now, Camille Over says teach. there's something called aqua faba. Oh, interesting. It's chickpea water or it's a vegan egg replacement. Okay, that's interesting. It comes in milk and powder form. Okay, that is very interesting. We, I'm going to have One of the things I want to do this year is I want to be making... Uh, and incorporate uh, some more uh, vegan and vegetarian dishes. Yeah, we have to talk to, to Camille about so, that. Yeah, Camille is a good person to talk to about that. So now I'm actually down to slicing my mushroom, guys. And I just take my time and get my mushroom slice. Or I can do one of two things. I can do this. I can do that. Now he's or just I can showing take my off. Time. Now he's just showing up. I'm off to thank take you my guys. Time. Thank you guys for sharing the live. Listen, this YouTube game is not easy. Not an easy game. It's not an easy game, but we love it. Um, you know, you there's ups and downs. You take it as it comes, but we're having a great time. And I must say to all the Americans that are in the group, 
So sorry that you're getting slammed with all that snow, but we had a great day today. No know. snow on the ground. Well, have you guys know all you guys again from the south of the 44th parallel? It's nice and green outside here. Come and check it out. We welcome you guys to come and enjoy some of the greenery with us. Because we haven't yet, we haven't yet put on our snow boots. And as far as the snow blower is concerned, still in the garage. It hasn't come out yet. All right, we're just getting this all cut up here. Wow. Can you hear that loud voice, guys? She's getting all excited because her granddaughter is on the phone. She's getting all excited about that. It's Friday night. So what's everybody doing on this lovely Friday night? Talk to me. What do you guys got planned? What's happening? Sorry, I had to go say hi to Shoo. Since I've got my, my trusty assistant here, just kind of walked away and left Sorry. me alone. Okay, now, uh, Annie says, how about kosher? Are you asking us if this is kosher? It's kosher until you add the pork. Uh -huh. You know, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be making... He's making uh, two different ones. But it, well, it's really three different ones. So what I'll be doing, though, I'll be using... The vegetable base, so I'll be creating the vegetables, and then I'm going to add all the different types of uh, 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 meats to it. In this case, I've got some bacon. I've also got some shrimps. We're going to be adding those to the pies that um, we want to be creating in that in that aspect. But otherwise, everything is going to be vegetarian, and we're going to be leaving two out of the six as pure vegetarian. <laughs> you no, 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 no. You're just sticking your head in there? I'm just sticking my head in. Just... We can't be creeping our lives. Either you're in or he's you're a, out. He's a creeper. You bloody creeper. He's a creeper. All right. Okay. So we've got so that going. The vegetables are coming right along, guys. Now, I'm very interested in this aquafaba, and I think I'm going to do some research on it, and maybe we can cook with it. We can make a dish. I agree with you, Tariq. No snow. We're thanking God. Although I do like the snow, I do like having the snow around. But I, I, you know what? I like the snow too. I like snow cone. I was very <laughs> surprised that the ground is not frozen out there. I was shocked. And and there's so much greenery in the garden. I did a little walkthrough today, and it was amazing. Like I mean, today was cold, but the sun was shining. It was a nice day. Annie says Sarnia is freezing. It was minus eight. It was minus eight here in Toronto too, but the sun was shining. As long as you were dressed appropriately, it was a nice day. At least we didn't have a whole bunch of slushy snow to have to trudge through and all that stuff. All right, so let me get my vegetables in there. Got all my vegetables all cut up and ready to go. And I'm going to be adding to this. I've got a couple garlic cloves to which I'm going to be adding to this. I've got five cloves of garlic here. I'm just going to give them a little a little slam. See, it flattens it out. I give it a little slam on the other side of the cleaver, and it just flattens it out. Makes it very easy to to slice. Or in this case, to chop. I think just like beating up that garlic. I just like beating up the garlic. All right, so we just try and get them to a fine mince. This way we don't have to have big chunks of garlic in our mouths. So if you're actually cutting up your garlic in this manner, guys, and um, your, your dish call for you to have like a puree, puree garlic instead of a chopped garlic, what you can do is if you add some salt to this garlic, just regular table salt, okay, if you add it to it, it will kind of bind it together, and then you can chop it some more to get it nice and fine. And then what you would do as the salt is incorporated with the garlic is you would use the tip of your, your knife, just the edge of it, and you'll just pound it in like this. Just grind it. 
you'll go down to pretty much like a, a pulp or like a puree. All right, just a, just a little trick to, to uh, think about if you if you if your recipe calls for puree garlic instead of a chopped garlic. Then chopping skills. I can't chop like that at all. What day is today? It's Friday. Right. Friday the seventh. Friday the seventh. So now we've got all our garlic all set. We're gonna be scooping them up, dumping them in the in the uh, pan. Yeah. All set. David's family life said, uh, "Chase those vampires away." Oh, of oh, course. Yes, trust course. me. My eyes and, are getting burned and out. And I've right got now. I've got a couple red chili peppers here for all you guys. I like to kick it up a notch, a little spiciness. But what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to spare us all the, the trouble because I'm going to cut these uh, chili peppers and I'm going to remove the seeds. And y'all know that that's where the heat is. It's all in the seed. So we're just going to cut it open. So then what's the point of putting the pepper? Flavor. It's all flavor. Okay. I may not remove every single seed, but I will try and get as many out of it as possible. And what kind of peppers are those? These are uh, red chili peppers. Red chili peppers? Yeah. Red Hot Chili Peppers? Yeah, there, wasn't, there a, wasn't there a musical group? Wasn't there a musical group called Red Hot Chili Peppers? Of course. <laughs> Red Hot Chili Peppers. Do you think it's because they ate they ate lots of chilies? Why they named themselves Red Hot Chili Peppers? Maybe because they were just hot. They're just hot. Hot tamales, eh? Yeah. All right, so let's let's just cut up these Red hot David chili Davis peppers. Family's in the house. Hi, Davis family. We're gonna get. Oh, look at that! Still got a lot of seeds in there. So, watch out! It's gonna. Oh, that's gonna be hot. That's a lot. Oh, of it's seeds. not gonna be hot. It's just gonna. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna distribute. Oh my goodness! It's gonna distribute well. Davis family wants to know what you're making, and well, Maureen well. Williams is saying, "Hmm, spicy." Trust me, it's spicy. gonna be spicy. There's so nice. much uh, seeds. It's not a lot. I, I removed so many seeds out of it. It's not a lot. We are making quiche, or he's making quiche, I should say. Three different variations. Three different types of quiche. Oh, yeah, it's going to be caliente, that's for sure. Mucho caliente. Where's my girlfriend, Lashana? Is it Lashana? All right. Or Nishana? Okay, so I need to... Um, my cutie little girl in Jamaica that helps her parents on... On the farm? On the farm, yes. I need to move over so I can get the use of my stove. Okay, oh. All right, let me move. Come on this side so I can get. What are you gonna do with these eggs? Let's move them over. You put them in the tray. All right, I'm being kicked out of my little space here, guys. So bear with me while I move my setup over. All right, where is my tiny little grater that I had? There we go. I'm gonna need Got that. Okay. Oh, oh, I'm well, kind of cold. I need some coffee. Well, let's put this. It's Lishana. Oh, she's sleeping on her lap. <laughs> okay. Uh, Maureen says, hi, guys. Happy New Year's. You guys look great. Thank you. Thank you. I hope everybody's having a happy New Year. Um, I don't know how many of you are in Canada. I think a couple of you are here. But we're going through another kind of modified restriction not as not as bad as we did the first uh, go around but we're going through another little bit of a restriction right now so what what better to do than to be inside and to cook so that's what we're doing we're making some we quiche are cooking up a storm. hope everybody had a good christmas how are your pocketbooks doing everybody spend what are you doing there? Getting something to drink? Oh. Uh, if you're anything like me, you uh, play Santa Claus at Christmas, so your pocket's feeling it right now. Yeah, I don't know if you guys saw the survey we had going as to whether or not uh, adult kids should be bought Christmas presents. Now, I don't feel they should. I think adult kids should be part of a Kris Kringle gift exchange. But this one here, it's this over. one here, it's over. Because Christmas of Christmas, is over. because of Christmas, we're getting the credit card bill showing up now because she wants to be buying. That's okay. The They're budgeted kids. for. They're Not budgeted just for. Gifts, but they're budgeted for. Big ticket gifts. They're good. That's okay? good. How about you just give them a pair of socks? They'll be fine. Socks too. You always <laughs> get new socks and underwear. 
David's family says it's better to be inside and eat what the hubby cooks. You're telling me. And this quiche, it's one of those type of meals or dishes that you can eat anytime. And it's one of those that sticks to your ribs. And you can really put, you can make can it you, your own. You can, can put you anything ask, in it. What happened to the olive oil, Jessica? Uh, How are we out of olive oil and we didn't buy any? <laughs> Jessica. Christmas is for kids. Sorry, Lo. She's with Nino on that one. That's David's family. Did you yeah. check in here? I did not check in there. Is there olive oil in there? We don't normally keep oil in no, there. No, we don't. Jessica Elliott, did you use all your dad's olive oil? Wow. Well, you're using vegetable oil, or 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 do you have sesame oil there? No, you can't use sesame oil. Or, or isn't that olive oil right there? No, it's not. Oil. Right? No, it's avocado oil. And what's this one here? Which one went here? Yeah. That's balsamic vinegar. Oh. Okay. And those are olive oils, aren't they, in the box? Oh, they are. Jeez. Look, these are flavored olive oil. Jeez. Jeez. Wow. Jeez, out, Nino. Guys. I'm looking for olive oil. I got me some olive oil. Check he this can out. never find anything. Look what I just discovered. I got some olive oil. Different variations. I've got olive uh, oil rosemary. times four. These are all infused. Uh, red pepper extract, rosemary, garlic, and lemon. Nice. Olive oil. So what do we use? Jessica, your dad was just accusing you of finishing the olive oil. No, I'm and not buying. he just opened the cupboard and found his box of four different types of oh, olive man. oil. You know your dad likes to go and buy things at the store pertaining to food and cooking, puts it in the cupboard, and then never uses it. My goodness. Go. Okay, your pan smells like it's 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 not burning. It's burning, burning so burning. be careful there. My pan is burning. I've got the olive oil. I'm gonna pour some See? olive oil. Jessica said he you bought that from Winners. I'm gonna pour and some olive guys, oil. Guys, Nino's pan. the type of person that says that he hates shopping, but he's a closet shopper. He's a closet shopper. He sneaks and he shops and he hides them. He hides his his things. Look at what I'm about to do, guys. I'm about to. I've got some, I've got we got some, Mark here. Hey, Mark. Happy New Year. I've got some olive oil, some garlic-infused olive oil in my pan. Can you turn this a bit this way, babe? Oh, oh. Sorry. garlic-infused olive oil in my pan. I'm also going to add to this some coconut oil. Okay? Hey. That's going to just make the uh, lends itself to the quiche. It's going to be an amazing flavor. <laughs> Get some more than some. Yes, you're right, water. Jessica. Jessica says that you you sneak and hide your 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 stuff from when she's agreeing with you. No, I don't. <laughs> yes, you do. I only I only hide my golf stuff, and I haven't bought anything for golf in a while. Okay, now Davis family wants to know which olive oil you're using. I am using. Here we go. This, which one garlic is that? Infused, oh, you're using, this, the, garlic using the garlic oil. infused one. Okay. On top of the garlic that he has already yes. chopped up, that's burning the heck yes, out of my eyes. Yes, because we gotta run those vampires. Now Mark says, <laughs> "Happy New Year, back at ya." I wish you were here having some of this quiche, Mark. It's gonna. We have like a million of them. <laughs> and right. Yes, thank you, Tariq. Thank you for reminding me. Everybody, share, share, share the vlog. And we have somebody here, Dana Dodd Abdullah. I love that name. And they say, Happy New Year. Well, Happy New Year Happy to you, New too. Year. <laughs> the Davis family says the vampires have now left the they, They're going to have to check there out. There is so much. They're going to have to check out. There's so much uh, garlic being used. Mm -hmm. I don't know. The vampires are going to have to go back to Transylvania. <laughs> See, guys, I'm the one that's behind him constantly wiping and wiping because... If I wait until the end, the, I'm going to have fact, to The fact this. remains that every chef needs a sous chef. I'm not a sous so chef. She, well, whatever you are, you're, what, what are you then? I'm, I am the coordinator. The coordinator, I am the, there you the, go. The, 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 right. the kitchen allocator. So I'm about ready to put my uh, my mixture with, I've got my peppers, my mushrooms, <laughs> onions, garlic, all that good stuff in here. I'm about ready to put that in the pan because we're going to have to get some sizzle going. I don't know how I'm going to do this because I've still got to add, I've still got to add the spinach to this, and that's going to be a little challenging. But we're going to get this sweat, get it reduced, get it flavored, 
We've got some uh, Himalayan sea salt. Going to get some of that on there. A nice little, little helping. Ooh. I'm going to steal one more pepper. Sorry. And we've got our cracked black pepper. Ooh. And I can smell, guys. I wish you guys had Thank smell Thank you, Davis vision. family. We are the senior executive sous chefs. There we go. <laughs> and Dana Abdullah says that she's enjoying your session. We're going to have to. I wish you guys had smell of vision because the mm. smell of this olive oil mixture with the coconut oil, oh, it's absolutely delightful. Now, you can use whatever vegetables you want, really. It's entirely up to you. Entirely up to you what vegetables you want to use in this thing. So I'm going to add a little bit more of the sea salt to this. The reason being, you know, when you're cooking mushrooms, mushrooms is going to just give off a lot of liquid. And it's going to be <laughs> okay, absorbed. you see that? Mark says, I'm more than just a sous chef. I found the oil. I clean. She like did, I, yeah, I, Mark. I, I get it all done. You're absolutely right. She is much more done. than a sous chef. Much more. Much more. She does, uh, she does a lot. <laughs> All he, all he, he's just the talent, guys. Oh, boy. I tell you, we're just having a good time. We're having a grand old time with this, guys. A grand old time. And I haven't yet turned my oven on, but I got to tell you that in when it's time to, um, to bake your quiche, I would suggest 125 to 150 degrees. Oh, pardon me. 325 to 350 degrees, okay? Um, let it cook slowly. It's going to get nice and golden brown. And keep an eye on it. It'll take you roughly about 30 to 40 minutes to be baked from start to finish. But right now, we're just getting all the vegetables sweat with the uh, with the peppers and the mushrooms and garlic and everything. And with, are you singing? Is that what that is? I still remember how it all changed. Why are you wearing a mask? In, in the house. My father said, I don't know. Who's that? Who's that? Who sings that song? I don't know, but Swedish House Mafia. The weekend? No. <laughs> Swedish House Mafia. Swedish House Mafia. All right, so we're just gonna get that going. And one of the things that we have to be careful of in doing in doing quiche is we have to ensure that the the moisture is as or pardon me, the mixture is as, as dry as possible. The oh, more yeah. moisture that you do leave in the mixture the more moisture there is that's going to get to the pastry and it's going to soak through the pastry and it's going to be soggy. All right. So we're just trying to reduce it. And the, I can see in the pan right now, there's just a lot of liquid coming off. Can you bring this over here? Just bring the camera over here. I just want to the camera, it. which is the laptop, the laptop. Yeah. It is a lot of moisture coming off of the, uh, the mushroom mushrooms creating a lot of moisture. So I'm just going to allow that to, to, to dry out and reduce almost nothing then i'm going to be adding the spinach and um just get this mixture all completed oh dana said hi tyler he just went out the door who knows where he's off to on a friday night oh, can you guess? Ooh, davis family says their mouth is watering mm -hmm. with even without the smell <laughs> can you guess where tyler's he's gonna going need on a friday night <laughs> He's gonna go drink. Sweat them vegetables. Yeah, we gotta sweat yeah, them gonna, vegetables. We're gonna reduce. I like I like the peppers when they're raw. They're, they're okay when they're cooked, but I prefer when they're raw. What a lovely family. The dish is really good. The colors are amazing. Just wait till the spinach gets added in there. It's really, it's it's really a kind of dish that you can just kind of empty out all your leftovers in the fridge, honestly. You can I'm put a little be, of everything, but I'm going to be sprinkling the, co the the powdered coconut milk onto this because what I want to do, I want to allow it to dissolve. Okay, it's just going to add another layer of flavor, but it is going to dissolve. And so, because the moisture is all in there, that'll just help it, just kind of incorporate and get it spread all throughout. And add that add that additional layer of flavor that we spoke about. I need some coffee. Mm, smell that. Oh yeah, it smells good. Oh, <laughs> and the garlic is still absolutely in the, delightful. The garlic is still in the air. Absolutely delightful. It's just mm. garlic is still in the air. Oh my goodness! 
I could I could actually take take a spoon and just eat this just like it is. What did you add here? Your... I just add the coconut milk, the powdered milk. So right now I'm, I'm going to be making six pies tonight, guys. You don't have to go about making six. You can actually just make one. When I again, they're store bought pies and they come in twos. So if you can buy a pack, you'll get two. You just end up making two. I try to use anywhere between four to six eggs per pie. Yeah. Okay, whole eggs. I've got uh, 24 eggs. So what does that make you? 24, six, so four eggs, or yeah. six eggs per pie? Does that make sense? Wow. I've got five. Oh, yes, you have five shells. Six shells. <laughs> six shells. So four <laughs> eggs per. Right. Oh, and he says the whole family is piled in front of the TV watching the talent Look at cook. that. So at this point is when I'm going to be adding my spinach. Okay, so I'm adding the spinach. In adding the spinach, I'm going to be putting handfuls of, at a time. And the spinach itself is just going to, it's going to wilt down to almost nothing, guys. You'll see that for yourself. As you can tell, it's a, it's a fairly big bag of spinach I've got here. Okay, when all is said and done. That doesn't mean a thing. <laughs> it doesn't mean a thing. Doesn't mean a thing. All right, so let's get a handful of this and just put it in. And just allow the spinach to wilt. I'm going to put this whole thing in there. And it's going to wilt down to almost nothing. I'll just get some spinning out on the countertop here, but that's okay. That's okay. A little bit at a time. Well, we don't have, the pan itself is not big. And because the pan, because it seemed like we have a lot more spinach than we do our pan, you may be tempted to want to use a much bigger pan, but like I said, the spinach itself is going to wilt right down, and you're going to realize in the end that you could have fit everything in the pan. So I just press it down with my hand on top so it can get, uh, get to the heat. And once I start flipping it over, you'll see what I'm talking about. The, the ones on the bottom are just wilting. Oh, coffee. Mark says that's a big bag of spinach. It's a big it bag looks of spinach. big, Mark, but trust me, it is going to be down to nothing. And you're going to wonder where that big bag of spinach went. Yep. Let me just leave that for a second. This smells so good. You're going to open. Get a little uh, ventilation going there. You want me to open up? Just a touch, yes. because I don't want to turn on the fan because it's uh, the, the above the stove because it's going to make such a big noise. noise. Look at me pretending like I'm the talent uh, here. Well, you're trying. <laughs> Get away from here. Get away from yes. here. Davis family says they're going to shrink down, and you right. can pile it up to the ceiling. <laughs> yeah. You know, you know, you know what you're talking about, Davis family. You sure know what you're talking about. You know what's going to happen to the spinach. I'm going to try and put the rest of this in here, babe. Can you uh, hold on to that? Oh wow! You don't have to wait until it cooks before you put more. No. Oh, wow. That's a lot of spinach. It's a lot of spinach. That's a lot of spinach. Lot okay. Of spinach. I got to trust. Get... What you can do, though, babe, is try and see if you can find the lid. Of what? For this, for this pot. I'll okay. just cover it. Instead of flipping it, we'll just let the steam do all the work for us. What do you think? Okay. You're busy. I'll grab it. Sorry. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. That's what teamwork is about, right? Yeah, the spinach yeah. won't even fit. That's what I'm saying. But he's saying that it's it's uh, fine. Don't you worry. Look, look, a whole bag of spinach is in there. Now the steam's going to do all the work for me at this point. And what do you have your stove at? The stove is still on high. On high? So yep. isn't it going to burn no, all the stuff? No, it's not going to burn anything. It's just going to create a lot of steam. Because uh, spinach itself does uh, give off a lot of liquid. So that's going to create some steam. King steam says he can smell mm -mm -mm -mm. from there. 
Hey, King, I want you to be smelling that bottle of rum. You got to come see me. <laughs> now, Davis family says you could probably even fit another bag of spinach in there. Yeah, but you just have to see where it work. Okay. Now, what about these the meats that you're adding? Do you need to do anything with no, those? I'm not going to add them just yet. I'm going to cook the spinach first. Okay. Why are you interfering? I am assisting. You, oh, you're assisting. I say interfering, you say <laughs> assisting. And he says, somebody contact Global and get them on ASAP. Yeah, yeah we need... We Send need, them over here. We need all, all right. the uh, eyes on us as we can get... We're almost... Um, ooh, Tariq says he's baking a chocolate cake from scratch. Oh, Tariq, nice. you, go, you Tariq. know chocolate is my favorite flavor. I am a chocolate girl. You're a chocoholic. That's what they call if you. If I could live with one food, it would be chocolate. King says we're gonna in, uh, you and him are going to enjoy a glass together. There you go. Oh, Noel Gamay so says, hello. Hello, my dear. How are you? Okay. Davis family says, we're not allowed to assist. We're just allowed to clean. <laughs> you feel my pain, oh, my darling. I like that. You feel I like that. my pain. Oh, Linda's here. Hi, Linda. Hi, Linda. Hello, Everybody say Linda. hi to Linda. Linda's my garden bud turned bud bud. <laughs> I love me some Linda. So take a look at that guy. Just take a quick glance over here and see how much that spinach has well, melted. I have to bring them over there. Yep, bring Everybody shout out Linda, Linda. <laughs> Look at that. See that whole bag of spinach? Look what wow. we've got left. See You're right. Left okay. out of it. Told you guys. Okay, I doubted you. No, don't doubt me. It was you and the Davis, Davis family, family told that you. said that you can Look at put that. two bags of spinach That's in That's a whole there. bag of spinach. Okay. Just think of all the... Hey, have you guys seen that episode of a young lady? Was a, uh, What is that? Steve Harvey show? Fam family Feud? <laughs> and she was asked, the question was asked to her as, as uh, what is what is Popeye's favorite food? And this young lady jumped out of her chair and she said, chicken! <laughs> and we're all looking at each other like, chicken. That's one of those um, uh, <laughs> millennials. New, millennials. <laughs> new millennials. She said chicken. She don't know nothing about Popeye and olive oil and wimpy and the burger and the, you know. She didn't know it was that kind of Popeye. She thought it was Popeye, the chicken restaurant. <laughs> kind of funny, though. Chicken. chicken. Davis family, she says she gathers the ingredients, she cleans, and she holds the camera. So We're soul that. sisters then. We're soul sisters. Look at that. Look at that, babe. <laughs> wow, that's All looking sandwich. good. But it still looks a little bit wet, so you're going to let it wet. It's sit a there wet. and dry out? Um, Not really. Not really. I'm probably gonna just. So um, how? So how about that moisture that you were talking about? I can about? do one of two things. I can either get a spoon and start removing some of that moisture. Okay. If I allow it to keep cooking, the moisture is not going to be removed in, uh, enough. So I could probably do that, or I could put it in a strainer of some kind and just kind of get rid of some so of that would moisture. What you like? Yeah. Um, I'll probably have to use a spoon. I'll have to use a spoon to remove some of the. Thank you. That's less mess. Yeah. <laughs> Probably have to use a spoon because this is all cooked. This is all ready. There you go. Spoon. You a spoon there? Voila. Yeah. That's a lot of liquid. A lot Look of how liquid. much liquid's in here, guys. A lot of liquid. And a lot of that is from is from the spinach. Tariq is laughing. He says he's he's seen that episode. You see all that liquid? And this and the liquid that we, we've got in here, guys, it's it's you can save that liquid. You can use that liquid. You can, you know, add some For of this. What? You can add some of this. For what? Yeah. I don't know. You can drink it like coffee. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So let's. So all that liquid now, you have to yeah, siphon gonna have off. To, I'm going to have to remove Or else liquid. it's going to make for one soggy quiche. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Let me get the next thing. Mark says that I can touch the pans, but not the barbecue. There you go. <laughs> Mark, Mark you know it. I don't allow anyone to clearly touch Clearly, you know this man. You're right. <laughs> Nobody touches his pots or his barbecue. And Nawal Gagne says it looks good. Nawal is Joshua's little one uh -huh. who's helping you with your views. Yes. She says that it looks good. Hey, Noel. And Davis family says it's pot water. You can drink it. There you go. Davis family, you know what you're talking about. Listen, Davis family <laughs> are 
in the motherland. They're in Jamaica. And if yes. any of you um, are interested in some real Jamaican farming, you need to subscribe and give the Davis family a watch. I love watching them on their little farm. Cooking, uh, planting, and harvesting the yam. And her husband, Marvin, can really throw down and do some cooking. So you guys got to watch that. All right, so we get a lot of the liquid out of there. That, that's a that's pretty good. You got most of it out. I got most of it, yeah. So I'm going to just pour all that ingredients back in there. Okay. And there we go. I'll save the pot water just in case. Just in case. Actually, it's pretty thick. It's almost like vegetable soup. Yep. So this is all good. This is all ready. So and it I'm still seems gonna, a little wet. I'm going to move this off to the side. Okay. All right. Now, what do you need from here? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Oh, soup, uh, Mark is saying that's a good soup stock. Soup base, yep. Yeah. I'm thinking about what I could do with this, baby. I want to get this... I want to try and probably put this outside to get it nice and cool. Just, bring, just chill it and bring it right down. I don't know if I can. Hey, uh, Loa, do you have one of those mesh things I can put over this? What? I want to put this out in, uh, outside on the porch to cool it in the elements so it'll cool really fast. No, I don't have a mesh thing to put on top of it. You know those up. mesh things that you always use in the summertime? Oh, I don't. Oh. Yeah, I just oh, want to. No, those are in the garage. Really? Those are in the shed. Um, you want to put it outside? Yeah. Yeah, That's it, a little unorthodox. It will cool so fast outside because it's either that or in the refrigerator. Or I could just leave it right here. Yeah, leave it right there. I don't want yeah. it outside. That's let's, crazy. Let's move it and put it on the on the chopping board over here. See, when I was giving or in actuality, can you pass me that wire? That exactly. wire rack? When I was giving it to you, you poo pooed it I and did. said you didn't need it. I did. Now I need it. You see? I'm, I'm the kitchen gonna, coordinator. I know the equipment that you're going to need. There you go. I'm going to put it on the wire rack. I know uh, what you're going to need. And allow it to cool. This now, way, Sue putting Kenyan, it on the wire rack, guys, will allow the air to go underneath and cool it from the bottom instead of putting it flat on the countertop. Okay, so now that we've got that, we're going to be preparing. King wants to know what's on the menu. It's quiche. It's quiche. I'm going to be preparing two things. I'm going to be doing... Just send one of the kids to guard it outside. You know we have to send a guard <laughs> if we put it outside with all the, the raccoons and the possums that are here. You know. I don't know if we have possums anymore, do we? We, we have. Well, they might, they're supposed to be hibernating, but I mean, these animals up here with the, with the weather being so iffy. Now, guys, uh, we dropped the link for the Davis Families page in um, the chat here. So you guys can give them a watch. We're all small YouTubers here. Um, moderator, maybe you can drop any complexes link there too. And we can all try to give some support because you know, from one small YouTuber to the next, it's not easy. I'm gonna be trying. Ooh, a we have Miss Page here. Miss Page, Page says Page. that Gabby can handle the raccoons. Don't oh, yeah. you know it? Gabby is the <coughs> raccoon yeah, she's a slayer. She, she holds the raccoons to task. Yes, <laughs> Gabby is the raccoon slayer. What was that, Rob? I Maybe mean, I want to show you something. What's that? Look at. Look at as much as I've taken out, look how much is back on there. Oh wow, that's still a lot in there, that, and that. that's quite thick. Yeah, still a lot of. Well, just keep draining it. Yeah, Gabby is the raccoon slayer, and we definitely—I haven't seen any raccoons, so maybe they're actually hibernating. What up, Mac? What up? Mac is saying, "What hey, up, Mac? Uh, are you burning your pants?" I, I probably am. Okay. What's going on here, Chef? Well, I don't expect you to be messing with my pants. But that's, they're burning. They're okay. setting ablaze. That's, that's okay. What is going on, guys? As, look. As, as long as as long as you have not yet called nine one one, we're good. He's gonna set the house on fire with these pants. Look at them. They're smoking. Do 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 do. What I need is. Okay, don't touch that pan. Baby. But they're smoking. That's okay. That's okay. Oh. 
We'll get that. We'll get it going. We'll we'll take care of it. We'll take care of it. That's that like garlic infused olive oil, everybody. All right, so let's get this one going. And we're going to be... Uh oh, I've just been admonished. And we're told never to correct the chef. That's rule Thank you. number one. Thank you. <laughs> That's like eating my food and putting ketchup on it. Don't you dare. Now that is bacon that he's cooking I'm up there, guys. The bacon. Because I'm going to be using this for one and two sticks. And <laughs> the other pan... That's special, you know, burning the pan. Can I get another, <laughs> can I get another um, Which one? Another wooden spoon. Four, four. There you go. There you go. And I've got my shrimp. I'm going to put my shrimp in. Now I will. Oh, yes. Okay, there you go. There you go. You got to keep the chef comfortable. He's just doing dual duties here. There you go. Keeping the chef comfortable. Can I stir the shrimp for you? Yeah, once it gets going. It's oh, not stirring. Okay. No stirring. I'll pretend to stir. Davis family, she says she knows she's been in the game for a while, so she's got your back. <laughs> <laughs> and Sue is saying that the chef knows that, and everybody seems to love garlic. You it's wouldn't love the garlic so much if it was burning out your eyes. <laughs> okay. Can I stir this? I I, I feel the need well, to Well, you know stir. what? Since you want to do something. I need to, I need to do something. There we go. All right. Let me get you some... There you go. There you go. I feel that the, the, the stove is too hot. Which one? Under this. No, oh, that's fine. Okay, you handle your pot. Carrie Trainer says, hey, Malcolm here. Try some possum or raccoon soup. Oh boy, are we are we coming are we coming in here from Georgia? Malcolm? I get my pizza from Georgia. Oh, got a piece jumping down the top, out of the pot. Yeah, that, that looks like it's all set. We'll turn that one off. Look at that. Yeah. I'm cooking shrimp, y'all. I'm cooking shrimp. You will turn that one off. <laughs> Are we getting their bacon all rendered here, guys? I'm doing something. I'm stirring the shrimp. I'm stirring the shrimp. Stirring the shrimp. Right, okay, popping off. oil. That's when I exit. No popping oil for me. Alright. Maybe I'll open the door for a little bit next time. So I'm gonna get uh got some of the shrimp going. I've got I've got some um some bacon going. Uh, where's the uh I'm gonna be pouring off some of this oil Maybe from the bacon. Let me just finish stirring up this shrimp to make sure they've been rendered properly. <laughs> <laughs> I won't mess it up. I won't mess it up. Hi, Catherine. All right. So here we go. If Salt Bay can do it, Nino surely can. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. So what are you doing? What are you so doing? So I'm adding some of this mixture because remember, I made the, uh, all the mixtures vegetarian. So I'm just... Added all the mixtures here. I'm adding some to the shrimp. Okay. All the mixture we're going to need for this. So these are the different mixtures that are going into the pie shells, guys. So one of them has bacon and the other one has shrimp. Come say hi to everybody, Ralph. <laughs> right. Now, Carrie says, erroneously, though, Nino, I'd love to see what your magic does with venison. Ooh. I made a mean shepherd's pie Ooh, about that would a be month wicked. ago. Venison. I would love to work with some venison. Okay. So the gauntlet has been thrown I for Carrie. We to have to do a venison, venison dish. Now that's going outside the box. That's something that he can be a nice very creative piece, with. A nice piece of medium rare venison. Oh, 
Nice gamey taste. And Noel says, oh, that's fancy. Uh, for all the wives who have to act as senior executive sous chefs, hats off to you. <laughs> <laughs> We've just seen one of ours in action. Guys, don't you know it? You have to think ahead of the box. <laughs> you have to think ahead because if you wait until the end, they'll be they'll be exhausted and finished, and you have a big mess. All right, so we're just gonna we're just gonna leave that. Let's get a piece so, of oh, you have, here. you have a bowl there for your for your eggs. All right. Yes, I've got okay. a bowl for my eggs. So I'm gonna do my eggs shortly. Here. And look at this still. It's still kicking off a lot of liquid. Really? Yeah, that's still, that's a lot. Still coming off of it. This smells delicious, guys. I wish you were here. You need smell vision. And you know, I'm very particular with my stove top. How about chef style ramen? Now you know who's the ramen specialist? That would be Tyler. Tyler. Tyler made some ramen yesterday. It was absolutely amazing. He used steak and a whole bunch of different ingredients. We got to get Tyler on here and right. make his ramen. Uh, I can turn this off now mm -hmm. because it's quite loud, right? So we've got some. Um, That's a lot better. So guys, right now I'm going to be. Ooh, it's nice. This bowl is nice and chill. So right now I'm going to be cracking my eggs, okay, in the bowl. And I'm going to be using four eggs per pie. So I've got 24 eggs here, six pies, and I'm also going to be adding to that, to my egg mixture, I've got 35% cream. Okay, I'm going to be adding that to the mixture, but the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be cracking my eggs. Now, it would be nice for me to just go ahead and crack the eggs in the bowl. However, I, I much prefer to crack the eggs in a smaller bowl in the event that there's shells that get away. It's much easier to retrieve them from here than it would be from the um, the uh, larger container. So let me put this here. I'm going to be dropping my shells in there. So here we go. And I'm going to be cracking. And again, try not to crack the egg on the side of the, the bowl because you can get some shells in there. That too can cause a problem. So I like to crack it just on the countertop. And just open them. Okay. Just one hand, guys. A little one hand magic. Just crack. Okay. Just hold it like that. Crack them. And you just spread it. And the yolk and the rest of the egg just kind of drop in the bowl. And look at that already. I've got a small piece of shell in there, which I'm going to have to fish out. You just saw it there. in there. I'm going to have to find it. Ah, there it is. Oh, there we go. There's the little piece there. I just got it. A little recovery. So, you pour egg in the bowl. Let me get started again. Oh, there's another piece of shell down here. Because shell's not gonna taste too good in your pie, guys. So you don't want you don't want eggshells in your pie. Bob, you want to come and say hello? Beeper? No, you, they can't see you from where you're at. Beeper, you should scare so nice it made me lick my finger. They can't see you. <laughs> That's my dad in the background there. She says, uh, Davis family says to wet your finger mm -hmm. and then you can get the shell out. Oh, but it was actually submerged in the bottom. That's why. Oh, that was her. Actually, I guess that's a trick. Yeah, that would be a nice little trick. Appreciate appreciate the suggestion. Oh, you hear that? <laughs> She's sneaking by because he doesn't want to come on camera, but that's okay. Now, Paige says she doesn't think that she's ever had shepherd's pie. Well, this is not shepherd's pie. This is not shepherd's uh, pie, but Paige, it's, it's kind of I certainly, I will, I will make you this promise, Paige. 
If you come up for Caravana this year, I'll make your shepherd's pie. How's that? Well, with the world the way it is, I don't know about that. I think I think Caravana is on. So what we're making is a quiche. So you start with a pie crust, kind of like a, a shepherd's pie, but we're mixing in a vegetable mixture that has spinach and mushrooms and various types of sweet pepper. And we're gonna mix in some cheese and some eggs. One of them will have bacon, one of them will have shrimp, and one of them will just have the uh, the vegetables. Oh, here's Tyler. Yo, welcome, beautiful people. Tyler, wait a minute. We Somebody was asking about ramen. So I okay. told them that you're the ramen specialist, and we're gonna get you to come on and make some different some types of ramen. Wings? Oh, you signed me up? Yeah, I'm signed you up for some ramen. What picky? So, so Paige is saying that she's going to record this so that you don't forget. Oh, no, I won't forget. Come on, Paige. Yeah, and Sue that. says that she feels like family already. She's part of the uh, executive wife uh, sous chef category. I got I got beef all cut up. I got like a roast. Mm -hmm. Cut up the beef oh, and yes. like strips. His ramen. thin sliced beef yeah. to make with his ramen. Yeah. So, so when he's there, there, I'm prepared. Right now, guys, just to continue, I've got... I've got my egg mixture of, I cracked all my eggs. Okay, my eggs are in the bowl. And I'm gonna be adding some salt, some Himalayan sea salt, as well as some black pepper. And How this, many eggs is in there? This is 24 eggs. Wow. Okay, so I've got four eggs for a pie. You can put up to six eggs per wow. pie. Wow. I'm putting four. All right. Yeah. And I'm also going to be using uh, my secret ingredient here, guys, which this is a nutmeg. All right. I'm going to grate some nutmeg in my mixture, and that is going to add an amazing layer of flavor. All right. So we got our nutmeg there, and we're going to just going to be whisking it. Just trying to break up these uh, egg yolks. Oh, boy. And I'm just going to pause for a moment because I forgot to turn my oven on. Let's turn the oven on. Yep. Got to preheat the oven. Yep. Got to preheat the oven. Oh, sick. I just found five bucks at in my pocket. Three, I'm going to put it at 350. And get it started. What's up, Linda? You only got half your face in the camera? Yeah, I'm reading. Well, what's, the get... difference, what's the difference between nutmeg and cinnamon? Wow, it's a, it's really a really a big difference. I think huh? I think nutmeg, I think yeah. cinnamon actually comes from the bark of the tree, so it actually comes from the bark of the tree. Whereas nutmeg is an actual uh, it's an actual fruit that grows on the tree. Yeah. Okay. Facts. But that's what the what, what about the taste like in in application? I think that's what they're asking. The, the like. flavor itself is 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 quite. There, there are some similarities. But I, I find that you get more of a pungent <laughs> uh, taste and flavor from the cinnamon than you would from the nutmeg. The nutmeg, uh, the nutmeg and the mace, and the mace is the little uh, kind of meshy thing that's on the shell mm. of the nutmeg. Yeah. Okay. That is quite similar to nutmeg, but it's got a, it's the taste is not as strong you as mean cinnamon. It's on. The, it's the same as cinnamon. Yeah. Okay. Pretty much the same. Yeah? Linda says that nutmeg is is a little bit more peppery. Yeah. As well. That's a good way to put it. In the peppery. Yo, Paige, I got you on the video. I got you. All right. So I've got my uh, mixture all mixed up here. I'm going to be adding Tyler. Can you hold on to this one for a second? The whisk. The whisk. Well, I'm going to put some 35% cream. Now, because I've got 24 eggs here, I think I'm going to put roughly about maybe a, a cup and a half of 35% cream. This is heavy cream. All right. That should be plenty. I'll just get that all incorporated. That's a lot of whisking. It is a let lot of move, whisking. Let me move your fans a little closer to you. Don't put it on the stove. No, 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 I'm not putting it on the stove. Now. So generally what I would do, <laughs> as you should always taste your food, I would taste this. No. To see whether or not I would. All that raw egg? Yeah. Oh. You know what? Well, do you, do you eat soft boiled eggs? Yeah, 
Yeah. Okay, do you eat like hollandaise sauce? That's a raw egg. Okay, I guess. I, I'll put straight up raw egg <laughs> on like my rice. There you now, go. Andy Complex Tyler is talking to you and he says he wants uh, that ramen chef recipe. So we have to come and do a post of you making your ramen. Yeah, I got, um, I mean, I could do it two ways. I could do this one. Camille is saying, what's up? I could do this one. Come on, guys. I've got my mixture all set. I prefer the shin ramen, but as long as it's Korean, it's spicy. Now, I'm Tyler too. spent a few years in Japan, guys. So a lot of what Tyler cooks and eats when it comes to Japanese food is very authentic. So... He goes to the specialized store that sells the Japanese uh, products. So we'll get him to come on and do a little bit of a ramen cook-off. I got the udon tea. I can make oh, the Davis recipe. family said that they taste everything, even their flour. Thank you. Good. Okay, okay, Thank you. okay. Thank you, Davis family. I still got to have you guys as a backup. Appreciate the love. But she says, don't inhale. Hey, I need that. I'm making some tea. That's oh. clean. She says, don't inhale when using the nutmeg, I suppose. Um, you sound, like, sound, like, sound like Bill Clinton there. Don't inhale. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It's okay. We're in Canada. We can inhale. Yeah, yeah we can inhale. <laughs> okay. Davis family wants a Brahmin master class with Tyler. Okay, Tyler. Are, do I need to turn the camera? Are you shifting over there? Uh, yeah, I'm shifting over Okay, here. we're going to do a little shift, everybody. Don't get seasick. Here we go. We're doing a little, oh, 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 <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, there we go. So what we can do, guys, 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 if you if you can actually see as far as you can, and you can see way over here, okay, and all you Jamaicans on here, you'll notice, and you'll see what this is. I'm preparing for <laughs> April. I've got two of them sitting here that I brought back with me from Jamaica. And I'm getting ready for They're Easter. not going to survive till April. It's so deep. <laughs> They're not, not going to survive Not only April. that, but I've got these, and you know what these are. The little red thing in the bottom. It's not mm -hmm. Moscato, that's for sure. <laughs> it's not, not Moscato. Moscato. <laughs> this is our sorrow. I made some sorrow this year. Mm -mm -mm. He said he was going to film it, and he I, never I, Yeah, did. I just got, I got I got ahead of myself, and I got it done. So, anyway, so I need my uh, cheese. So, cheese? What you, so what you can do, guys, generally... If you if you bake your pie shell, and you're just coming out of the oven, now I made I, I kind of baked these this morning, but if you bake your pie shell and it's just coming out of the oven, what you can do is take some of that egg wash, the the egg white. If you beat up some of that egg white and get a brush, you can actually brush it on the bottom, okay? And what right after, do? and what it does is it creates a seal. It creates a seal between the custard that you're going to put in the middle and the uh, the um, the pastry. So, so it would question. soak through the pastry or, or get it get it all soaked. So I got, saggy. I, I got a question. Go um, does that trick only work for quiche or would it work for regular pie as well? It could work for anything. Yeah. It could work for anything because it, it, what it is doing is creating a seal, especially now that, that again, I poke holes in the bottom. In the event that you poke the holes and you poke through, that egg wash that you put on there will put a seal on it. Okay, and the custard won't won't pass through. So what I'm going to do at this moment is I'm going to be putting some cheese on the bottom of these, on the bottom of the pan, because as you know, quiche is it's just a lot of cheese. Cheese on top, cheese on bottom, cheese to the left, cheese to the right, and the, and the cheese I've got here, guys, I've got a mixture of of uh, provolone, I've got old cheddar, I've got Gruyere and Gouda. Okay, and I've just mixed it all up. Gouda. Gouda. Mr. Gouda. Oh, yeah. That Mr. is. Gouda. So I just put a, nice, I put a nice handful of cheese. <laughs> Did you say Goudas? <laughs> Goudas or Gouda? <laughs> Mr. Goudas? Mr. Goudas. Mm -hmm. Mr. Goudas. Are you reading the comments? Yeah, I'm reading them. Okay. All right. So we're just putting some cheese on the base. Just a nice helping. Of cheese on the base because this is we're not talking about a military base. base. Oh, All somebody right. speaking Japanese. Oh, who's speaking Japanese? He said udon sugoi. Now what it's does like, that mean? Whoa, udon. You can speak that. Yeah. Say something in Japanese. Oh, look at this. Put on the moisture there, man. Let Tyler speak Japanese to us. Go ahead, Tyler. Who you Japanese? 
and say what? I don't know, whatever you want. Say good evening. Kumbawa. Kumbawa. You know how to say that. I said kumbaya. Kumbaya. Kumbawa. The only thing I know how to say in Japanese is Ohio gozaimasu. What does that mean? Good morning, good day, hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> it means hi, how wow. are you? <laughs> wow, it means hey, hello, good morning, how are you? Well, that's what we say here. <laughs> is that, that kind of like is that kind of like when you uh, when you visited uh, uh, South Korea? What was the was the what was that again? Anya, Anya, say yo. And gam si hamnada. Gam sa hamnada. Gam sa hamnada. Yes. I've never been to Korea, so I don't know. Well, your mother's Ohio been to Korea. Tyler, pass me that big spoon, please. Ohio Let me just kind of move out a little bit so you guys can. Didn't she? Yeah, remember her and Jesse went to Korea. Put this one over there, please. Hi, Jesse. All right, so we're going to be. This one is the uh, shrimp, the shrimp and vegetable. I'm going to be placing that in the pie dish. And how many of these, the shrimp one are you making? I'm making two. You're making two, okay. Two, two of each. Which means one for you? <laughs> two of each. Okay. I got so my just cleanup. Gonna get my cleanup is up mixture to date in there and we're just kind of. So are you just, it are you just filling it up? I'm just filling or it up. Or is there a certain amount that you got to put in? Nope. Just kind of spread it between the two pies. Nice. It's a lot of shrimp. Well, we love shrimp. What kind of shrimp? Cause we for we we for its gum shrimp. Uh, no. I like I like shrimp cocktail. I like fried shrimp. No, you're not. Barbecue doing that. shrimp. What? What kind it's of shrimp? Bubba? It's Bubba that likes the shrimp. Now, Bu now, <laughs> Bubba. Yeah. Listen, listen, listen hey, Bubba. That, that she only speaks anime, uh, Japanese. So okay. Like old serious Japanese. Huh? Like old serious Japanese? I can't even speak like that. Oh really? That's how like my principals talk to stuff like that. What is anime? Now the Davis family uh, says they're gonna find our it. yard tonight with all that shrimp. <laughs> Listen, these we're having some shrimp cocktail, some barbecue are amazing. shrimp. Look at that! Look at all the shrimp in there. Now, once you eat that pie, you can't complain that you didn't get any shrimp. You see now, all that shrimp everywhere. <laughs> oh hi, Jane. Jay, Jay's got, Jay, Jay? We, we, you gotta come on camera now. Come on, Jay. Come on, Jay. Come on, Jay. Nino's come on, roping in all the kids' Jay, friends. Come, on come on. No, come, come say hi. Come say hi to my fans. We have fans, Jade. We have fans. Come on. We have fans. We have fans. Come say hi to my fans. Don't you know that we're stars? <laughs> I'm eating the cheese like a little mouse. Now this is a lot of cheese. All this cheese just just I on the bottom. I didn't say I was gonna put it all on there. Huh? Okay, and this is the uh, this is the other one. This is the bacon and spinach. Just gonna put that in there. So the cheese goes down first. Yes, let's put a layer of cheese down first. Oh, cheese goes on the bottom and on the top. I didn't know that. Well, you're learning. I did not know that. Can I steal a shrimp? Wow. Don't tell him. Wow, this is why I don't want you in the kitchen when I'm working. You, I need to be in the kitchen. She's stealing shrimp. She steal peppers. Why don't you steal some liquid detergent to sink, honey? Never question the chef. <laughs> <laughs> I've never, I've never really paid attention to when he was making this, putting the uh, cheese on Where's the bottom. Jake? Did Jake pass? I don't know. Uh, ooh, any complex say très bon délicieux. Ooh, now, for all the Canadians in here, we should know what that means because we all took French in school, so we should all be parlez-vous français. Parlez-vous français. C'est très yeah. délicieux. Look okay. at that. That looks amazing. All right. So now we've got those, and we've only got the vegetarian oh. to go. <laughs> Putting that one down next. Okay, guys, so this is the final one now. We're doing the final two. So we've got the, uh, the vegetarian mixture. I'm 
washing these pots. And we've tried to remove as much of the moisture out of this as possible. Okay? And I just kind of use the, the spoon and just kind of spread it out just so we give it get an even distribution. adding to the mixture the liquid, the, the custard or the egg mixture. There is... I can't find a ladle. Do you see the big ladle? Second drawer. Second drawer second where it always drawer. is. Drawer. Well, I'm, if I'm looking in the second... Okay. Yeah, sorry, yeah, sorry. yeah, yeah. The second sorry, drawer. You're right. I apologize. You're right. I'm wrong. Yeah. It's all, it's only been right. there since forever. Right. Okay, my apology. So I'm just going to be pouring the mixture here, guys. So I like to just start off by pouring the mixture in the very center and allow it to just go outwards. Okay. See that? Everything just kind of go out. And this one here. <laughs> Davis Family Life says that they've learned all their French from a song that they will not repeat. <laughs> uh, I don't know that song. <laughs> I took French all throughout school, all throughout high school, advanced French, because we were all threatened as Canadian kids that if we didn't learn French, we wouldn't be able to find jobs. How often do you go to Quebec, though? And as well, they made it seem like, as if, like we needed French for everything, but... I mean, really, since I graduated high school, I haven't used my French. And if you don't use it, you lose it. Lose it. There you go. I uh, I go to Quebec quite often these days, and uh, they're pretty serious about the French. So, uh, Tyler, well, Andy Pollack says in his next video, he is reviewing Dakashi from Amazon. Do you know who that is? Who? Dakashi? Is that that's from Oh, Am Lady Marmalade is the only French that she knows. Voulez-vous coucher avec moi ce soir? Uh huh. <laughs> I, don't and, know, and my, I don't think he knows who Dagashi is. And my favorite, my all time favorite um, Eggs Benedict restaurant in Toronto is called Lady, Lady Marmalade. Marmalade. That's right. Love it. Now we Love have the Tom channel official saying hello they're all the way in the philippines oh, hello hey. Tom. hello philippines hello hello welcome to the channel how do you say hello in tagalog i don't know how do you say hello in tagalog tom uh annie complex is saying that uh, uh that's jap dagashi is uh japanese snacks you don't know that dagashi dagashi he says it's a japanese snack let me look it up when we were in Japan, I remember Remenade. What? Rem what was it Ramine? called? Ramane. Ramane. The, the, the drink with the marble in it. Oh, just like a bunch of snacks. It's like, oh. I didn't, I've never heard that word before. What, Dagashi? Yeah. Ah. I'll make sure he watches that episode because Tyler is the Japanese Everything go Japanese. guy. Every, everybody Everything. that I talk to, they just say in English, they say snacker. Snacker? Sunaku. Sunaku. That's Japanese for snack? That's, yeah. That's like, uh, <laughs> it was, it's katakana, right? So it's like spelled out in like Japanese phonetics, but an English word. Oh. All right. So let me okay. get, let me get a uh, knife and I'm just going to be, just going to be uh, manipulating this a bit just to kind of get it spread evenly. Just kind of ensure that everything kind of move around. That. Those look really good. I think I want a piece of the shrimp. Let me try not to, and I think I might have cross contaminated something earlier. But oh, Tom gonna... says Masarap Mahal Kokeo. Oh, yes, 
I, I think that probably means good evening or something to the effect. I wish we had Emmy here right now. She's she'd be able to. Well, welcome, Tong, and happy new year. Glad welcome, to have you. We are making quiche. We are making quiche, which is basically a pie right. with a base of egg and cheese, and then you can put whatever you want in it. And we've chose to put an assortment of vegetables. One of them has vegetables with shrimp. Another one has vegetables with bacon. And then the third one is just vegetables. So we've just finished putting them together and we're about to put them in the oven soon. Tong says, Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Tong. There we go. Now, what is uh, the oven don't, set don't, at? Don't now? move them right now, please. Oh, the chef says I'm not to move them, so I have to leave them alone. Okay, so the oven right now is set at 350 degrees. Now, it's very important, guys, that when you're doing this and you have your mixture, that you, you have them in a pan that keeps them flat. Because if you don't keep them flat, the mixture is going to start running left, right, and center. Okay, I still think I might be able to add a little bit more liquid to some of these. Just give me, especially the ones that are that are already in a pan, I might be able to add a little bit more liquid. Just to kind of cover those spots. Davis family want a slice of each, just to oh, be fair. Absolutely. You know? I'll spread the love. And you do you bake it, then put the, the last layer of cheese? No, nope. cheese goes on it right away. Once it goes in the oven, okay. that, that's it. Now, you're kind of filling them up pretty far. I am. I am. I'm just trying to fill them up because I'm trying to use up this mixture. Yeah, but aren't, aren't you running the risk of having them bubble over? Yeah, they could bubble over. You're going to be the oven cleaner. So. Oh, Jordan's <laughs> here. Hi, Jordan. Happy New Year, kiddo. We are making quiche. All right, so. We are me, here making quiche. So I'm going to be putting cheese on top now, guys. Okay. Um, can I do one? Can I at least participate? You can participate. He doesn't let me do anything but wash the dishes. So I, I wanna, does it matter I if I get the cheese on the crust? I want to ensure that you keep the cheese in the pie. That's, that's important. Okay. Okay. Try and keep it in the pie. I am keeping it in the pie. Kind of now, how much cheese? Give it a little sprinkle. You gotta sprinkle it over here. You're not. Well, you're I'm just... trying. It's the pressure of trying to keep it within the it within the pie. Well, you shouldn't have taken on the pressure. The pressure. <laughs> the pressure. I don't want to mess up the quiche. Davis family says Nino is heavy-handed like Marvin. No for everything. Mm -hmm. Yes. Plenty, plenty. <laughs> yes. Always makes way too much. You know, they say the more the merrier bubble up seven of Every cook. time he cooks, he cooks like we're having people over. Well, you know what? In all honesty, guys, our house is the kind of house where people just drop in. So well, I, I, not I just since like, the world changed. I just like to cook. Don't take it anymore. Don't take it anymore unless you're putting it on that. We just like to ensure that we you never come to my house and leave hungry. Okay. And I just like to ensure that I don't have a million leftovers to have to put away. Put it on that. Very good. Look Very good, sous chef. Okay. Look at that. All the distribution of cheese. Cook the food and they will come. That <laughs> is for sure. That is for certain. Davis family says that uh, they're planning to fly in. Oh, did you do this? Look at this. What? Look great. Right. Oh, get lost. No, look at it, though. Look. Get lost. But the cheese is not distributed properly. Get lost. Oh, I tell you. This is why you don't interfere. One one you ever taste that yourself, you got these up little girls. Okay. <laughs> you don't cook that. That's why you've never tasted it. No, we can't. So you get her, you get her involved, and then she starts 
messing it up. Now I got to go back and fix it properly because, guys, I'm very particular as to how things are done. Very particular. All right. Okay. So we're all set. The oven is all set. And I'm going to be putting these in and setting the timer. So let me, uh, how am I going to do this? I'm going to have to move this rack up. Move this, this rack up a bit so we can get. We can't see you here. I know, but I have to. Well, why didn't you move the rack before you started? I should have. I should have, but since I didn't, I have to. Uh, yes, you were right. I Don't to touch stop. anything. I shouldn't have yeah, touched I anything. Shouldn't have, uh, shouldn't have messed with it. You weren't invited. Okay, to. Jordan Bullen, there is a vegan option now. Where, uh, Jordan, we, we, I don't know if Jordan is a real <laughs> vegan. That's the thing. Jordan, I question your commitment to being a vegan. So. Stop questioning Jordan's commitment Jordan? to being a vegan. Jordan, Jordan is a vegan. Now, this one here, Jordan, it just has vegetables in it, but it has eggs in it. Do you okay. eat eggs? Is eggs, I don't know. We had this lesson at the beginning of the live about um, vegan versus uh, vegetarian, right, so but means... these do have eggs and they do have cheese. These are the shrimp? These the are the shrimp. shrimp. But okay. we do have two pies here that just have vegetables added to them and no meat and so i'm gonna have to put but they do have these? cheese and eggs there's the meat that's these are the bacon ones so and what is and this? that's a shrimp shrimp I'm you don't just, know your own food there well, chef? i'm just trying to figure out how i'm going to fit fit the oven I'm trying to figure out i'm going to it's going to be <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna be all over the place. Okay, so let's put this one here. I would hope those eggs didn't come from a plant. You're making a bit of a mess, and Am you're I? still gonna put it in the oven, knowing that it's gonna bubble over. Yes. Wow. Yes, and the reason I'm doing that is because you have fully committed your services no, to I'm ensuring the oven is clean. No, I'm not putting it in. Well, it is a self-cleaning oven, so I don't think. No, but you could have waited, dear. You could have waited. How did that get? How did that get? Okay, I love that one. I was so careful. But anyway, we're gonna set this timer. Cook time. You don't know you can see, right? Thirty-five minutes. So I've just set the cook time, guys. I'm at four hundred and fifty. Oh, pardon me, three hundred and fifty degrees, and I've just set it at thirty-five minutes. And he spilt some of the egg mix mixture it's just a little bit. into the back, it's just into the bottom bit. of my oven. Wow! It is, a, it? It, is a, it? it is a self-cleaning oven. So it? yes, I will clean it. Are you even gonna? So Jordan, it so uh, there is a vegetarian option for you. So feel free to come over and have some quiche. I'm not convinced, Jordan. Jordan, don't <laughs> let him bully you into saying that you're not a vegetarian. Jordan. Okay? Come on over for a beef burger, Jordan. Oh, wow, you're a hater. You are a hater. <laughs> that is uncalled for. Jordan. So while your food is in there, can we change locations? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. So yes. I am going to walk with you guys. So for all of you guys that get dizzy, mind your eyes. Jordan is laughing at you, by the way. He's not taking any I offense. He's not taking any offense. So, as you can see, I still have my Christmas tree up there. And it'll probably be up there for quite a while because nobody wants to help to take it down. And since I put it up all by myself, I don't think I should have to take it down all by myself. Right? What are you talking about? I'm talking about the Christmas tree. The Christmas tree that's still up. <sighs> yeah, we should just leave it there until next Christmas rolls around, right, everybody? How many of you still have your Christmas trees up? And your Christmas lights. And your Christmas. Christmas. Well, it's still, still it's people, still a lot of people. We're still in the Christmas season. Yes, yes. We can't see you, dear. I can't. I don't know where to sit. I think if we sit here, we might both be. Able I want to. I want to have my beautiful Christmas tree in the back. Or the one you're going to leave up until next Christmas? Yeah. Yes. We're sitting right in front of the Infama window. Oh, yes. The Infama window. Listen, guys. For all you guys that don't know about the Infama window, 
I, let, let me um let me just run you through when we first started our YouTube channel. That is how we started. We started sitting at the informal window, right? And we would talk about any and everything. Any that and came everything. Up. And I tell you, it started because we were sitting in front of the window. I think that was quarantine or mm -hmm. number one. Anyhow, we were sitting in front of the window and uh, we just started talking. And we decided that we were just going to film it and put it out, which is what we did. I was in my pajamas. Uh, no I, think, bra, I think we got we looking we, we got, like quite um, a mess. I, I remember going to work and just getting a lot of praises from my coworker. Well, that, they said we were. Man, you really like that. That's really cool. <laughs> do you want to do another one? So we decided that um, we're going to go back and do another in Farmer window, and it was to a point where. You know, people in the neighborhood would walk by and they would wave to us and, yeah. and they had names. We had characters. We had one guy that was the bike thief. Yeah. <laughs> we'd see the bike thief. We haven't done an informal <laughs> oh, it's window been, it's been a while. series in a while, but we should get back to that. I and think I had, we just got caught up because it was the um it was the summer season. So there was a lot of garden gardening things mm -hmm. happening, right? And we had a lot of cooking series. But you know, when the garden season remember, slows down, I remember a buddy it's a perfect mine, time to do uh informal window. A buddy of mine said to me that Oh Ina Ina's here. Hello, Hello Ina. Hello Ina. A buddy of mine said to me that um you shouldn't be naming it the informal window. That's not good. Doesn't sound right. I said what, what do you mean? He said well it just sounds kind of like you're spying. I said listen I said do you have a window in your house? He said yes. <laughs> I said how many windows do you have? He said like 10. I said, well, you have informal windows. Because anybody that has a window that can see on the other side, you have an informal window. That's right. <laughs> so case in point, it remained oh, the same. Can it I was, put this down? I'm just going to go was, get um, something. Oh, you have, an, you have another big up there. It was informal window. Phil, big up Phil. Phil in the house. Ina, big time. Welcome, all you guys. We're actually uh, in the process of making quiche. I've got three variations of quiche in the oven at the moment. I've got a... Uh, shrimp quiche. I've got a bacon, one with bacon, and another one just vegetarian. Okay, so they're baking. It's set right now at around 35 minutes to completion. So as time progresses, we're going to be going in and taking a look at it and seeing how it, the product is coming along. But yes, so Ina. Okay. Ina Ina's going to stop by and pick up a, a vegetarian. Oh, yes, pie. yes, Ina's yes, gonna... Ina. You should gonna, come and get one. Come get get a vegetarian pie. You should, after. Okay, you can't sit like that. Why? Right, well, I'm sitting because your big fat knee is in the way of my chair. I am trying. I'm I'm tr I'm trying to be submissive to you, darling. I'm on my knees. I'm down here, and you're sitting on a chair. Go ahead. Oh. You see, I'm being subservient to my wife. Oh, I'm cold Look now. Look at me. <laughs> see, the window is the infama, right? Mm -hmm. You get it. The window is the informal. Now, Jordan says that we need uh, informal window episodes. We really we do. do. We do. We I have mean, so much fun. Hey, and I'm telling tell you, you, those episodes are so organic, they're organic. because they're, organic. they're not edited. They're just, Nothing is we, done. Just we just talk, talk, film. We, just talk. we might cut some of it out if it's going too long, but we don't retake. It's just one yeah. take, Charlie, and that's it. That's what makes the informal window interesting because we just, we have we have such a chemistry <laughs> that it just we just get in there and just talk. Yeah. And it's Davis family talk, say just, they have a big informal window in front of their house, but it's go. closed almost 24-7. <laughs> and and I just I wake up, I open the blinds behind me, and we get the best sunlight from that window, and we just sit there and look out. And it's Did, the best. We're, we're in the rock here, the Davis family. Uh I'm not sure, but they they're in Jamaica they're the rock. and they're they live on a homestead with kind of like a, a mini farm almost. Sweet. Where do you live in Jamaica, Davis family? Let us in. Let us in. Most of the people that are here, well, actually, oh, they're in Saint Elizabeth. You oh, have yeah. some people in Saint Elizabeth. Saint Elizabeth. I got family down in uh, Ballard Valley. I'm a Ballard Valley, Ballard Valley um, <laughs> ancestry. Yeah. <laughs> Jump now, Ina says, just some, just some facts. Today is the Ethiopian Christmas. Oh. Therefore, let's leave the tree until mid-January. Okay, I never know that. That's, I knew there was something that came actually, after. Actually, I lied. There, I knew there was something that came after People Christmas. who are Orthodox. orthodox. So our Ethiopian orthodox. people, I guess they're, they're Orthodox. orthodox. Yeah. 
Oh, careful. It's just me. I'm just moving Careful, this. careful, careful. Okay. That's that's good, though. I like that. Thanks, Ina. Thanks for sharing. Yes, yes. Well, you know what? We are going to leave the tree up till definitely till mid-January, probably till the end uh, of January. Uh, and beyond? Just because it's a and bit of beyond. a... No, not beyond. My goal this year is to try to, to, to get it down by the end of January. Now, guys, remember her goal is... To get it down by the end, end of, of January. January. So if we do a live past January, <laughs> I'm going to ensure it gets done in front of this tree. Because if I know this procrastinator, okay, it's going to be up there till the spring. No, it's okay? not a no, matter no. of being a procrastinator, guys. It's mm -hmm. a matter mm -hmm. of nobody wants to help. And it's a lot of work to put all of those ornaments in their individual little boxes and to schlep it all down to the basement. Because if you don't put it away nicely, next year when it's time to take it all back out, it's going to be a nightmare. So you have to be very particular the way that you put these things away. God, I hope you're convincing them. <laughs> I really hope you're convincing them because um, I think I know better. <laughs> now, uh, Davis family wants to know if, if Ballard's <laughs> Valley is close to Balaclava. Um, no, Ballard's Valley is just outside of Junction, the town of Junction. They're talking about Jamaica here. Yes. Yeah. Balakalava, I think, is... Oh, is that how you say it? Did I say Balakalava. it wrong? Oh, sorry. Yeah, I think that is... I'm not sure. I've passed that sign before. Is that close to middle quarters? Now, you're talking oranges. No, I'm, at, I'm asking the Davis family because mm. I've seen the name before. I just don't know exactly. I remember where exactly it's saw it. Now, this is our first live that we're doing in 2022. We've, we kind of... Um, eased up on the lives a little bit. Um, Philip says, love the conversation, guys, but he's got to go back to work. You go back to work, All right, Phil. Philip. I appreciate it, man. Go back to work. You're coming and checking in. Davis' family says, no, middle quarters is close to Black River. Yes. But uh, okay. anyhow, th uh, this is our first uh, live for 2022. Um you know, we kind of did some ups and downs and, you know, sometimes you get in a little bit of a rut to not feeling too well and and um, YouTube is the last place that you want to kind of be. And then you kind of get a little discouraged. But 2022 um, is a new year, new start, mm -hmm. new goals. And we're certainly going to hit our 4,000. Well, let's just hope. We're very close. <laughs> We're, close. We're very close. <laughs> and that's thanks to a lot of you here. You, A lot of you here are uh, have been with us since the beginning, really, mm -hmm. if not damn near the beginning. Ooh, um, see, now you're not going to be able to get oh, up. <laughs> <laughs> see, I told him not to sit like that wow. on the floor. But now we can't get up. That was not easy. Davis family says <sighs> Balaclava is nearer to Magati. Magati. Oh, Magati. That's close to the Appleton factory, I think. Okay. Magati. And he says this is our first live since last year, since the past year. Mm -hmm. That's true. But um, yeah, so you know, new year, new goals. Everybody's trying to be, you know, prosperous and do new things. And we've have a lot of plans that we want to do, things we want to cook, be a little bit more adventurous. And I'm glad that uh Carrie had um suggested venison yeah venison that's something is, venison that's something a little different I, I mean you're pretty adventurous very, very when it comes to food and cooking food yeah. he's a bit of a food snob actually i'm not a bit of a food snob. no he's he's <laughs> not a, he's not a bit of he is a definite <laughs> food snob well the thing about it is i i don't um and i will say this and most of you will probably agree with me i don't eat food to make other people happy i eat food to make myself happy so if you offer me something that doesn't taste good. I am sorry. I can We've, apologize. You've, you've told us this before. But I will not eat it. You've I'm told sorry. us this before. <laughs> so, um, the Davis family wants to know the one thing that you would never cook. Mojo. The one thing that I would never cook. Yeah. Wow. Um, you've. That I would never cook. I mean, maybe some exotic meat like. A cat or a dog or something. No, I, that's the one thing. Yeah, I wouldn't draw that. I wouldn't cross that line. But you and I know there's some places that 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 it is consumed throughout. Hey, the world. Brampton Gardener, how's it going? Brampton Gardener, how are you? 
<laughs> but yeah, well, venison is venison will be pretty interesting. Now she says she doesn't blame you if it doesn't taste good. Then don't yam it. <laughs> Absolutely. 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 Chef, Re okay. Chef recipes at budget prices is what Annie Complex wants you to to maybe work on. Chef recipes at budget. Okay, prices. Jordan is saying, how about goat cow balls like in the Fear Factor? Oh come on! Now Jordan. okay, Jordan, 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 Jordan. Now I have my father sitting here beside me. Speaking Jordan. of cow balls, and in Jamaica, when they kill a goat during a big uh, celebration, they eat the goat balls. Do they not, sir? Do they not? We eat goat seed. <laughs> goat goat seed, seed is what they call it. But they eat the balls. Those are balls ram of the goat. goat. Ram goat seed. Ram goat seed. Okay, so Jordan, your ancestors, I know they're not from Jamaica. They're from Grenada. I'm sure they they eat, that they eat goat and, seed. And, and, we, and we also use it to make manish water. Which is a soup made with the goat seed. Head, the goat head and the goat head. And testicle. Go the ahead, testicles, the head and the belly, according to these men, that's supposed to give them virility because it's mannish water. <laughs> that's kind of yuck. So so I want to tell okay, you. Okay, so I King, tell you. you're missing a lot of stuff here. King is saying to you, mm -hmm. uh, how about uh, cooking uh, the raccoon, Jerry the raccoon in the backyard? Would you cook Jerry the raccoon? King, some, I will cook people, it if I will cook it if you're eating it. No, some people <laughs> eat like I know possum and raccoons, and raccoons and stuff and, yeah. like that. But I wanted to tell my my uh, Jordan. I wanted to tell you my goat ball story. When I was probably see some people are saying they're calling it cow cod. So that's I, what they call it, cow cod. But it's I, really the can goat I tell balls. my story? Okay, tell your can story. I tell my, <laughs> can I tell my goat ball story? <laughs> okay. When I was probably around eight or nine years old, just before I, I uh, left Jamaica, <laughs> I remember one day this guy was killing a, a goat. Okay. And he asked me if I wanted to help him. So as stupid as I am, I forego going to school that day, and I decided to go help the man kill this goat. And my payment for that day was a pair of balls. <laughs> <laughs> And what did you do with the with the pearl? Well, balls? I'm supposed to take it home and roast it. And how old were you? Seven or eight years old. So a seven year old child is what building a fire and roasting okay. organ meat. You have meat? to understand that a seven eight, seven or eight year old child in North America is seven or eight. Seven or eight in Jamaica is like seventeen and eighteen. They're very no. mature. For okay, Davis their, family, you're in age, Jamaica. I, I need you to confirm okay. this because he's always it's telling true. these far-fetched stories far story. about when he was in Jamaica as a boy and how they would go to the bush and chop down cane and yep. build fires and, yep. and shoot run birds and cook birds. They were like six and seven yeah. years old. Who lets their six or seven year old into the bush making fires and cooking soup out they of tin cans? Talk to this woman. Talk to this woman. All she knows is going camping in Halliburton. How eh? many? That's all she knows. Okay, How hold many? on, hold on. They can't hear you. Go ahead. How many of my good Jamaican fans ever tasted bojo? Well, there is a family that's that's that's. Oh, Davis family says yes, no. She legitimized you. Okay, so okay. thank you, Davis family. <laughs> now maybe she can put it to rest. Okay. And believe me when I okay. talk. Okay. Thank you. Thank now you. Annie Complex <laughs> says that there's a, a Vietnamese restaurant at Don Mills and Finch, uh, near uh, near to No Frills, and they cook curry cow balls, and he says they're yummy. Wow. Are you joking or are you are you That's telling the truth? C curry cow balls. Curried cow balls. He's Davis family says that's the best time. Children were free to go to the bush, yes. hunt birds, cook, cook them, yes. and go home Thank you. in the evening. Thank you. She would not <laughs> understand this. She and would Sapphire not Steamy this. is laughing at it all. She would not understand this. Oh, he's it? any complex is serious. Curried goat balls or well, cow listen, balls. Any complex, you're gonna have to come by one day and take me. To you go, would to that eat restaurant. The, you would eat the curry goat. Just cow don't, balls? just don't tell me what it is. Just order it and I'll eat it. But don't tell me I what it is. I think the worst, well, <laughs> the most exotic thing that we've ever eaten is when we were on a cruise, 
Uh-huh. And we went to, was it Belize? And we had e- tasted iguana. Oh, iguana. Yes, it was. Yeah. Uh, no, it was Honduras. We are in Honduras. I tasted iguana in Honduras. And for, that's, a, that's a bold step for me, guys, because I am personally terrified of lizards, yeah. let alone an iguana. And all the time I was tasting the iguana, all I can think about is his cousin is watching me from the bushes. <laughs> and somebody's going to attack me. I was terrified. But, oh. uh, yeah, it was... And again, it's like anything else, it tasted like chicken. <laughs> wow. Now, St- Sapphire Steamy says that they walked in on some goat balls tonight. Ah! <laughs> ah! I hope it was a ram goat. Now, Linda wants to know, wants you to finish your story. So what happened? What happened with the goats? With the goat balls? Well, I brought the goat balls home with the intention of roasting them, Linda. And um, my dad found out that I went and got these goat balls instead of going to school. And needless to say, it wasn't pleasant thereafter because they were tossed away into the bushes. And I got a good ass whooping for not going to school. Well, there you go. There you go. So that was my experience. Well, it seems like this uh, Davis family is saying that they had the same experience with their grandmother growing up in St. Elizabeth. So they got to um, they, they got to walk around and do all that stuff in the bush and as kids. But here... We didn't do all that kind of stuff. Like we did do camping, but we went camping. We had grown-ups that were there supervising the campfires. We weren't, you know. And this is why this is why each and every time that I go to Jamaica, I want to go in the countryside and I want to just relax, chill. She wants to go to the beach, to the resort. I don't do the resort thing. I do countryside. I do country living. Right. That's we're, good we're just for a so couple of days, but what's no, the point? Of, for the whole time. What's the point of going if you're not getting some nice resort beach sand? You want the beach? I don't want the beach. I want river. I want river and key and peace. That's what I want. Well, <laughs> that's all good. That's all good. And if we, if, and, if, you know, I can't wait to be able to go back on a vacation and reach there. Uh, what? Davis family said that they were allowed to have kerosene and matches yes. as a child. Yes. <laughs> we, are yes. you kidding? And I'm t- and they were like seven and eight years old with yes. kerosene and matches. You can light fire. You can. And kids weren't care- careless. They wouldn't go around and burn things down. They just they use it for its wow. right purpose. See, Brampton Gardner yeah. is has the same ideal. She has the umbrella ready for the beach. It's been too long. We haven't been on on vacation. It's been too long. Now, uh, Ina is saying in Guyana, the Guyanese people call that bush cook. Yes. With an old pot in the bushes. Yes. You know, we used to use, as, um, I forget what the hell it was. They had these, these, these oil pans, these oil drums that the oil would come in and the storekeepers would retail the oil. So you'd go to the store and, and mm. ask the storekeeper for a, big tall pot that the, the oil drum and okay. that's what we would use to cook that's a great pot for soup and that's what you guys would make your soup from oh yeah we'd make soup in that pot oh wow so whatever it is that you you would use you would literally throw it away after you're done unless you're going back to that spot to cook again right? now Tariq wants to know if we have any vacation plans this year it's very difficult to yeah, plan it's hard vacation to plan. it's very hard to very plan. difficult to plan and I mean because as soon as you plan, the government shuts the borders down again. Well, and you know, they restrict you can you know, it, it all depends yeah. on what's going on with, you know, this whole thing. And it's very hard to plan. You might go and make a big plan and then everything changes. Mm-hmm. So it's, you know, there's staycations. Like last year, we, we, we stayed home, basically. We did a staycation and we stayed, we just concentrated on the garden and in the backyard. Now, Annie Complex says an alligator and bear were spotted in my mom's neighborhood on separate days in Florida, and everyone acted like it was no big deal. What? Mm-hmm. You know, when I see that I, on I the news, those alligators in Florida, that. that makes me not want to live in Florida. Like, I mean, Florida even, seems great. I don't even think I'll wait for the alligators. But when I can't deal Florida, with the alligators. They have an infestation of iguanas down there. Yeah, <laughs> and, and he's afraid of. Let me tell you, they're not my friends. I and I know they. I know they don't eat. They eat, they eat vegetables. They eat trees yes, and fruits. Yes, and, yes, 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 but yes. For me, I just know that I'm going to run into that one iguana that eats humans. 
<laughs> I don't want it. I don't want to be eating my iguana. So now, Davis family says that you would have to use the oil tin because you couldn't use your mother's pot. Yes, are you crazy? <laughs> that is facts. That is facts. Now, and we would actually is missing the sunny sand. We too. would actually trim. Uh, get we'll get like pull a branch off a tree and get a knife and sharpen it. Yeah, and that would be your your knife. You'd poke the dumpling. Okay. With your, with the stick. I would like to ask. Okay. I would like to ask my native Jamaican farm. Okay. Do you ever taste a menu they call blue jaws? That's for you, Davis family. He wants to know if you know something called blue jaws. This is apparently something they haven't it's they a, eat in Jamaica. It's vegetable, great vegetable. Cook in banana leaf, aka dukono. I think they have something like that in <laughs> Philippines as well. Now, Paige Lawrence, she says that she is committed to becoming a plant mom this year, so she can't wait for this year's garden videos. Okay, both of us, both of us, because I'm committed to expanding my um, house uh, plants. Because funny thing is, I have a lot of plants in the garden but I don't Nothing have a lot of plants in the house. I have a few. Linda started me out with a really nice one that I still uh, have kept, managed to keep it alive. So I want to I expand my house plant. So you and I can learn together, Paige. Uh, LJ Robinson is here. And he says, all I got to say is Nino Jamaican style black pepper shrimp, baby. LJ <laughs> has been sending us videos of him making that uh, peppered shrimp. He's kind of mastered that pepper shrimp. We have to have him over one day and him and Nino can cook it together because he has mastered that, pe that uh, pepper shrimp. I don't know if you guys have seen my pepper shrimp video, but go back and scroll to, through the, uh, the library of videos and you'll see the pepper shrimp. It's absolutely delicious. Yes. It's simple. It can be made in five <laughs> minutes or less. Yes. And if you like spicy food, it's all yours. Now your Davis family, Rob, is saying, yes, man, they know all about it. Sweet potato, yam, wrapped in banana leaf. That's she good. says that her mom used to make it. That's good. Okay. And does, it, does it taste nice? Say yeah. that to, the, to your family. Now, Brampton Gardener says that she kills houseplants. Well, Linda, you'd be very happy to know that your little plant is still alive. I believe it's a Tratus... Kenta, I think, I think, not sure, not sure. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong there. Now, LJ says that your pepper shrimp is amazing. I think LJ can't see my face, so. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I keep cutting him off. Yeah, oh, just, sorry. Just, just put yourself in the middle of the camera and cut me off. That's okay. People, <laughs> let, let's have a conversation. I'll be right let's back. Let's have a conversation because that one seems to want to be right in the middle of the camera. And as you see, I'm off to the side being cut. So, but the only problem is I can't see all the comments. Uh, da -da, da -da. Oh, there you are, Linda. It's called Trade Cantia, not Nanook. I guess that's the plant she's got on the inside. So I don't know where she's gone, but she just ran away, but she'll be back in a minute. So. Yeah. So LJ, you got to make your way over just so we can do that cook off. We can get the cook off going, and um, certainly, who was it that was suggested the venison? Uh, somebody named Carrie. Carrie. Okay. Can, can I can I get back in the shot? I don't know. Do you deserve to get back into the shot? Please. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm back. Now, Linda says, yes, try to scan Cantia. I have to get uh, better with the names of the plants, but I was right. I was right. But it, the little plant is doing uh, pretty good. I'm going to go check on my... Uh, let me He's going to go check. On my keys. Okay, so yeah, I lost my moderator for a while there, and, you know, I don't know how to do this, but... He promises that he is coming back. So, um, Jordan, uh, why is, what, why is daddy? I have a full jacket 
on oh why does my dad have his have, have his jacket on where is he going do you want to tell them why you have your jacket on i go smoke he goes every five minutes he goes outside to smoke practically every five minutes well he has his moments and because he feels he lives in downtown toronto and he feels that the east end of toronto which is where i live that's a little closer to the lake is way colder than where he lives. So he likes to keep his coat on because he says, oh, this Scarborough, it's so cold here. I like, like it's any different warm. than where he lives. But I don't know. We, we have this debate all the time. My blood is getting old. Now, Carrie Trainer says Malcolm asks, Malcolm's asking about the venison. Oh, was it? Oh, it was Malcolm that was asking about the venison. It's Malcolm. Okay, okay. We have to try to um, coordinate that. We need to. We need to get. We need to get uh, um, some venison going. <laughs> Annie Complex said he'd be scared to challenge you to a cook-off, uh, chopped cook-off. You know the chopped style that they do on TV. What's that? Ina said yes. It's called conky. Okay, maybe leaf and alternative, alternatively foil. Okay, that's something. I guess that's what they called it in uh, Guyana. See, the LJ, LJ wants to know if he can come cook some corned beef and rice <laughs> for you, because yeah. that's his favorite corned beef and rice. Yeah, and Davis family wants you to know that the blue <coughs> draws is delicious. All right. So he feels good now that Thank somebody you. knows Thank you. about Thank blue you. draws and they agree that it's delicious. They believe that I'm telling a lie. Not that we don't believe that you're telling a lie. I've just never had it. I've never had blue draws personally. That doesn't mean that it's not good. It's just that I've just personally never had it. Now, LJ says that uh, he knows that corned beef and rice is your specialty. Do you want it? Now, moderator, how did you just ditch us like that, moderator? Moderator is asking, how cold is Scarborough? Scarborough is not any colder than Toronto is. Another another menu that is very delicious is potato pudding. Potato well, how pudding. Well, how different is that from blue draws? The same thing. It, oh, is that what blue draws is? Yeah, like a potato in, pudding? Just, okay. In, no, but it's one just cook, in like banana leaf. One cooking oh. leaf and one beer. Okay, I didn't realize. Oh, so yeah. that's all that is? The pudding beer. Okay, okay, and the, okay. And the, and, the, and the blue dress cooking quail banana leaf. Now, okay, so that was Malcolm. Mm -hmm. Is Malcolm still online? So he's saying that he thinks he's more than confident that you could hurt a good venison stew yeah. or steaks or tenderloin. Venison steak would be wicked. He says elk meat is, 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 is excellent, Malcolm is too. Malcolm is a hunter. Oh, Malcolm is a, so we're going to have to, I think Malcolm, we're going to have to come down to Georgia and um, you can take me hunting and we can see what we can find. Whatever we kill, we will cook. No, but here, well, I don't know if uh, hunters here, do we know anybody that hunts? We know a lot of people that fish, but nobody that hunts. Yeah, man, they But got, I'm sure we can go down to Georgia deer, and go they hunting. Deer, they Malcolm. hunt deer and... Now, Rob, well, this <coughs> one's for you. The Davis family says sweet potato pudding Hella top, hella bottom, and hallelujah in, in the, the middle. middle. Okay. The cornmeal pudding there. Now, is that the cornmeal pudding or is that the, the sweet the potato? Potato, potato, potato pudding. Really? Sweet potato this pudding. Is, this, this is Jamaican sweet. Hella top, about. hella bottom. Hallelujah in the middle. Now, Malcolm says, come with it. Turkey season is around oh the boy. corner. Deers oh are running hard this really? year. Right. Malcolm, we got to talk about that, man. I got to come down and... Ooh. You know, Paige says Uncle you. Mal makes great pay, uh, deer tacos. Mm, oh. That sounds delicious. Don't knock it till you try it. That deer delicious. tacos. Yeah. I've never had any you kind probably of wouldn't even game. Know it's deer. Probably not. I've never had any kind of a game meat or even a like a wild turkey. I don't know. I did when we were in Jamaica that time and they killed it was a fresh killed goat and a fresh, fresch fresh killed, killed chickens. I was a little squeamish. 
That stuff tastes the best, though. Yeah. I prefer cornmeal pudding myself over sweet potato pudding, though. They're both. I like them both. Well, you tried to make a cornmeal pudding once. You weren't too bad, but you it didn't. It was bad. But you didn't get the jelly stuff on top. Is that no. called the hallelujah? Um, I think so. Oh, you didn't get that. You didn't get that that great. I could try again though. But now Paige bad. says uh, that she didn't know. Um, uh, oh, Linda says her brother hunts. But Paige says that she didn't know that the tacos were dear until she was three tacos in. So they must oh. have been really good. Hey, Paige, are you coming up for Carolina this year? It's hard. Oh, Annie Complex said that he'd love to try deer or moose. Mm, elk, any one of those game, I'd love to try. Now, where do you get these things? Like, do you, they're not at the girls, yeah, probably be a specialty butcher. No, you probably, yeah. Or you have to, I, I or you, have to, you have to know a hunter. I think you have to know a if you go home, hunter for that. If you go up on the area with them, with them. I guess oh, where they where hunt. Them sell, where them sell farm equipment. Maybe you can't get the meat. Cassava meat pie that. and venison au jus. Cassava oh, Annie Complex says up north you can get these things. What is that? Oh, there's a there's a deer running wild in Portland right now, she says. Really? Oh, wow. Now, Paige says she'll come if the border is open. Let's all hope that all borders are open and everybody gets to have a nice vacation this year. Oh, ground venison. She has some ground venison in, in the, the freezer. freezer. Ooh, Linda, Linda. Now we, now we, we want to, <clears throat> we want to um, hey, take Linda, it up you, a notch. Linda, you remember where recipes. I live? <laughs> with some of these recipes, we want to take it up a notch. So, uh, you guys, just send us anything interesting that you think that we might want to cook. You know what, I, what I'm thinking of doing now that we're in the winter time? Well, we definitely have to do a meat pie because mm. we had a, I want to do a chicken. I want to do a chicken pot pie. Chicken pot pie would be an interesting. Now, winter, Annie winter says dish. his pops is in Iroquois Falls, and they hunt. They hunt up there pretty regularly. Uh huh. Okay. I don't know. I don't know if I could. Have um, you ever gone up Annie Complex? Have you ever gone up and hunt with your dad? I don't know if I could eat that big. What is that? There's a deer running wild in Portland? Yeah. Really? A single deer or just a Davis family? Is that a single deer running wild in they, Portland? Or they just want you to make some cow cod soup. Or an LJ wants you to make some good French onion soup. Ooh, I love French onion soup, LJ. With cheese on top. I love French onion. That is something that I wouldn't have a problem with. Yeah. With some cheese. Now Malcolm oh. says you guys have elk, moose, deer, black bear. Maybe I need to come up north. <laughs> and he says ground venison is great in spicy chili. Oh wow. Oh, the oven is going on. Ooh. He says, no, they're oh, they're breeding. He's she says that they're they're not running wild, they're breeding up in Portland, and people are hunting them. Oh wow. Okay. I've never seen a deer in Jamaica, but I mean, I'm usually on the resort once in a while. And we, never, we, never, we don't have deer at Jamaica. Well, we this lady them. lives in Jamaica, and she says that the, there, there are deers running wild and breeding in Portland, and people are actually hunting them up Portland, there. Portland, Jamaica? Portland, Jamaica, yes. Yeah. She's in Jamaica right now. She lives in St. Elizabeth. What? And they are hunting these deers. And they're, they're trying something. They're trying to breed them again. Yeah, maybe. That would be kind of cool. Because, maybe. Because, <coughs> because they, even the John Crow, our John Crow, I, I see oh. them in Niagara Falls. She says that the, they were cooking some of them on a cooking show. That's kind of cool. Now, Linda says that she loves uh, French onion soup as well. Love it. Okay, we have to do that because Nino loves French onion love soup. French but onion. you've never made a French onion I've soup. I've never made it's it. It's funny. Do you realize how long it takes to make a French onion soup? No, why? It's no, but that's how much. That's how you're supposed to cook it. It's supposed. It, it'll take you hours to do. Why? Because you gotta cook it down. It's gotta be slow. It's a slow making soup. Okay. And then you gotta add your port or your Madeira to it. Okay. It flavors it. Oh. Well, I guess that's I love, something I that's good, coming up. I love a good French onion. He's. She says that the deer are running wild, so people are going out to catch them and mm. cook them. 
Yeah. 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 Breed, uh, that means the foreigner carry them out and go and let them go, you know. Maybe, who knows? Maybe, maybe, maybe. We used to have a wild pig, wild boar. We still do. Oh. There's still wild boar in the, in the yes. hills. In the hills in Jamaica, because yeah. I've had them. Now, LJ had says he can't wait show. to see the video. Well, we will definitely put a French onion soup on our list. French onion soup and chicken pot pie. Yeah. Are yeah. two things that I'm going to do. Uh, thank you guys list. for all hanging out with us. Uh, we're cooking our quiche. They're just in the oven right now. I've just given it, a, I, I initially gave it 35 minutes. It's at 350 degrees. I've just given it an additional 15 minutes. Okay. I want it to take its time. I don't want to rush it. Yeah. I want it to set properly and get a, get a nice golden brown crust on the outside. And it's going to be absolutely delightful. Now, if you haven't already, you can give us a hey. thumbs up when you're in the live. Give us a thumbs up. And thank you all who shared out the live and brought friends in. We haven't had a chat like this in a while. And I'm so glad to see you all here. Now, Annie Complex says French uh, recipes are usually long with multiple steps. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, Absolutely. that's why the food tastes so good. That's that's why the food tastes so Annie good. Annie Complex with his French her French Canadian heritage, he knows that. Yes. Now, the Davis family said to you that's probably what happened. Somebody let them out, go in the wild, and they started breeding. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so hey, now uh, there's a bit of a problem. Hey, now, don't forget to stop by to pick up your pie. It's funny, a lot of people stop by when they see some of our cooking videos, but we don't always, obviously, put the video out on the day that we cook that item. But sometimes people think that we cook it that day. Yeah. But and the other wild animal they used to read to is rabbits. Rabbits. Wild rabbit. But it's funny, I've never seen the Jamaican dish involving rabbit. Is there? Not, not, not restaurant quality. Oh. But Right. Rabbits will be eaten by people that raise them themselves. Yeah, because we'll find a rabbit and guinea pig. Uh, yeah. Linda wants you to cook up a cheese fondue. Cheese fondue. That sounds so delightful. Cheese fondue. Rabbit soup or a rabbit, a rabbit soup. soup rabbit I've never soup. had a rabbit. No? I've never had rabbit. Rabbit's a very interesting taste. Mm. Very interesting taste. Rabbit stew is good, though. Any complex says good. the French and Italians make a spectacle of dinner. That's why it takes so long. <laughs> we eat, we talk, we're married mm -hmm. together around the table. Hours, and that's hours, what cooking, hours, that's what hours cooking on should end. be. French, when French people are eating, they just take Italian the same thing. It's it's an event because yeah. it goes on. It's it's not unusual for Anti someone to go 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 to dinner either in Italy or in France and or even in, in Quebec and take upwards of four or five hours just for dinner because of the conversation. The, the best know, it's, it's amazing. quiche I've ever had is when I was in school and we took a, a, a trip to Quebec. It was so good. We had beef bourguignon and that meat was so tender. Did you say the best quiche you've ever had? Sorry, your quiche is better. Don't you try that. <laughs> You'll be suspended. Your quiche is better. <laughs> but that quiche, that was the first time that Bouf I had quiche, and it was so good. With the and we had beef bourguignon, and mm. that was that meat was so tender, tender. cooked down imagine. with that wine. Oh, I can taste it now. Beef bourguignon is very delicious. Now, delightful. oh, uh, Davis family says uh, rabbits are slowly becoming more popular in Jamaica. And they actually, oh, they have a pair, hoping oh, nice. to breed them soon. Nice. Rabbit stew is delicious. Oh, I Love messed it. up. I'm sorry. <laughs> and Malcolm is saying you can fry rabbit or you can grill rabbit. Now, I, I would, I don't know. I've never had a rabbit, but my mind tells me that a rabbit would taste kind of tough, kind of gamey. No, no, no. not, or does it no, taste like grass, chicken. Grass or dinner. No. I find it, it's Where's more of like a fennel -y type of taste, but it's delicious though. Rabbit's, rabbit's nice. You eat everything. I eat any and everything. There's nothing that I don't eat. <laughs> yeah, I can't. I'll at least try it. <laughs> now, we're back to one of the original things that had us at the informer window, and that was tripe. Tripe and bean. Tripe. Tripe and bean. That was an original How topic. How many of you that are in this live eat tripe and bean? I know it's a Jamaican thing. We're but talking about tripe? intestine, animal intestine. 
Yeah, I can't. I can't bring myself to try the tripe. I don't know why. I I just is I it can't. because you're you're thinking about it? Davis you know, family said, "Ooh, yes." Now you're talking. No, 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 no. I can't do the talking. tripe. I can't do the tripe. <laughs> Try soup or stewed curry and, tripe, and, and that takes a long time to long prepare. Time to pre yeah, it takes a long time to prepare, right? I re I actually remember myself as you know, my dad would bring go to the market and bring home tripe. And um, I remember going to the market with my dad and watch the vendors clean the tripe. You get your tripe from my right? They, they turn it inside out. Yeah. Use your finger and turn it inside. You got to wash the inside. And, oh, it's you it's a, quite. What what did you call that stuff? What stuff? When you called all that food that that um, derived from slavery because they weren't. Ancest, ancestral food. Is that what you call it? Yeah. Ancestral food? Ancestral food. Because kind of food? ancestral food. Because back That's in the what slavery my, days, ancestors were given. the slaves didn't have access to chicken quality breasts meat, and yeah. quality meat. So they you would eat what? Whatever. So they gave whatever them whatever was the, the innards. Whatever was left. Whatever the whatever the, whatever the slave master didn't want, such as tripe or cow foot or, or cow ox tail or, or cow skin. Yeah. And then and the slaves it. made it into a delicacy. They so now it. it's a sought after dish. Okay. Yeah. Yes. I mean ox tail is probably more expensive than than, yes. than, than, than beef. Yes. <laughs> it's so but crazy now. It's crazy. Yes. Oh, Black's Tropical that. Home says, says, hello, soil brother and soil sister. Hello, Glad to hello, see you live. Hello. Hope everyone is doing well. Hello, guys. Hello. We are here cooking. Uh, we're making quiche. Our quiche are in the oven, almost ready to come out. And we are doing very well. And we have a little additive here. We have my dad sitting there throwing his two cents in every now and again. Um, now, Davis family says, my dad was a health inspector, so I got to see all of that. Loved it. He got the best cut of meats and cow cod, too. Oh, my God. This cow cod business. Uh, Malcolm says that he eats tripe whenever he can get it. He, his mom made it all the time. Hot tripe, pickled tripe, tripe stew, cabbage. I can't, I can't, I can't get into the tripe. I don't know. Maybe one day I'll sneak it past my lips. Tripe nice But I, I can't, I can't. Chitterlings in the south and the north. Okay, that's what chitterlings are. Or chitlins is the way that they say, okay, I never knew that chitlins were tripe. Because when you kill the animal, you don't throw away nothing. No, they don't throw away anything. They're, they're saying hello to you, Pops. Now, let me tell you, he is very serious about his food. There are certain things that he is not going to eat. He will not try for no amount of money. Case in point, the other day when Nino made that his favorite prosciutto sandwich, he wouldn't try it. <laughs> that's an ugly sandwich. <laughs> All he kept saying is, that's what ugly sandwich. And he would not try it for anything. Yeah, Paige, I think that they smell so bad too. Okay, chitlins are pork intestine. See, Davis family says you're right. They waste nothing, nothing. They waste nothing. Right. And I mean, to their defense, you know, they have made all of this, quote, throwaway meat into delicacies. And I mean, every culture really has this kind of throwaway food that they've turned into delicacies. How much one of you people ever tasted cow skin? Cow skin. Cook cow skin. Cow skin. I've heard them talking about cow skin. As a matter of fact, Nino always talks about cow skin and loves eating cow skin and loves eating it when we go to Jamaica. Like these are the type of things that I can't get into. Now, Black's Homestead says from the rooter to the tutor, they eat it all. <laughs> from Eight, the rooter from the, to the rooter. tutor. I love that. Okay. Davis family is bigging up the cold skin suit. They're saying, brap, 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 brap. You see? Okay. I love that. I love that. Ooh, your so quiche the smells. Quiche, the quiche smells absolutely delightful. Ooh. We've got roughly about four minutes to, to tea time. Okay. We had four minutes more in the oven. So that's uh, 
35. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like fresh baked bread. That's, that's about the, 50 um, minutes. Almost the, an hour. The crust. The crust yeah. I can smell. Ooh. It smells lovely. It I just smells in the so oven. good. So we have three different type of quiche, mm -hmm. uh, guys. We have, um, now we do have a video, by the way, that we, we, we did uh, make an official video when we first started our page a while back. So you'll mm -hmm. find it in our rosters under uh, Nino's cooking uh, playlist. But uh, tonight we made vegetables, all vegetables. So that's spinach and various types of peppers, mushrooms and, and the Onions. likes. And right. we have one with shrimp, mm -hmm. one with and shrimp. another one with <laughs> bacon. bacon. Yep. Yeah. So there's a little bit for everyone, and anybody can make shrimp. I think even I can make, make quiche. Sorry, anyone can make quiche, um, because the basic recipe is just the egg. Is it egg white and no, heavy it's cream? Just, it's just the whole egg. The whole egg. egg. Okay. Egg custard seasoned with salt and pepper you mean and nutmeg. Egg custard. It's just egg. Egg with the cream is a custard. Okay. It's well, just you that, have to explain it's a savory. It to us when I say custard, it is a savory custard. It's not a sweet custard. Okay. So if you were to take the egg, okay, and whip the egg along with the 35% cream and add some sort of sweetener to it, that, you'll that have would a make, sweet custard. Okay. Okay. In this case, you have a savory custard, which is the quiche. I get okay? it now. Okay. Now, Black's uh, Tropical Home said uh, they're not into the cow skin at all. You're into cow skin. I'm in the cow skin, cow's feet, cow tail, cow belly, cow head. That's I'm the cow rooter everything. to the tutor. That's rooter the rooter to the tutor. Same thing with the pig. Same thing with the goat. Just bring it on. Now, there's an average of $20 per plate of tripe in some restaurants that they serve. That's in Atlanta. Wow. That's amazing. Tripe's good, though. Tripe's nice. <laughs> Davis family says, touch me around with everything. <laughs> <laughs> Waiting for the tribe. Oh, boy. Oh, I can't. I, I, tell you. I don't know. A little tip of menu is coconut custard with roast breadfruit. Coconut You're reliving custard. your Jamaica days. Coconut custard with a roast breadfruit. When you cook the coconut oil, the custard that leave from the coconut oil, you eat it with roast breadfruit. Mm. How many, how many, one of you ever tasted that menu? Well, well maybe not, not a, Jamaican maybe Jamaican. not a lot because <laughs> they're all over there. The, when we said that, I'm talking to the older heads, you know. Well, there's not too yeah, many. There's not a lot of Jamaicans there. Not I'm too the, many there. One and family, I, and, so. Yeah, there's you one. Actually you know, one will pop up and tell you if you ever eat it. Yeah. Annie Complex is saying breadfruit is amazing. We have some actually in the freezer. If we still do. Yeah. And we kind of thaw it out and try to drain as Be much of that because, water out. Because. And they, then fry it. As they're talking about water, Davis family, just check this out. So Ooh. I brought, I brought roast. She says she's never had that one. I brought roast mm -hmm. breadfruit at one point back from Jamaica. So my daughter with her infamous wisdom decided to thaw the breadfruit. But how she's doing it is she submerged the bag into a container of water and the water then i guess there was a hole in the bag and all the breadfruit became water waterlogged but it's we, we drained it now she might have gotten that idea from her mother don't put it past her mother because she'd probably do the same thing instead of just be patient leave it outside and allow it to saw and allow it to thaw and spoil up my good good bread no 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 listen we still i still made it I just put it in a, 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 a sieve and let it drain out, and it, it the water eventually drained out. It was like a. a I think I just heard the oven going yeah, off. Yeah, but now it's well, it tastes like breadfruit. The I thought it was ahead. fine. The okay, meat, just the meat, tell the meat Okay, to guys, the can you just tell them what's going on on it? So they just we're heading back into the kitchen because I heard the timer, the timer go off. So we're gonna go and check out what's going on. With the quiche. All right. So here we go. I'm going to take them out. I'm going to just give a. Go ahead. Oh. Look at that, man. Ooh. That looks great. So we're going to be taking them out. Ah. I don't have Megan knees. You know that. <laughs> Megan the Stallion knees? I don't have those Megan knees. No, listen. Out? I didn't mess up the breadfruit. 
because I still had the breadfruit and it was fine. Now, any complex, any complex is liking the bami. I like the bami too, but it has to be really fried and nice and hot. Nino wants me to show you his. Why are you taking that out with just your hands? Because I, I because I want to. It's no, no, no. Use, use, use the oven mitt, please. Oh my goodness! If oven mitt's gonna take. Use the oven mitts. Why would you take that out with just your hands? Because I got hands of steel. Yeah. Ooh, look at these guys. They smell so good. Mm, mm, mm. Look at these. Shit. I just dropped one. You dropped one? Yep. Oh my God. I just dropped one. And you know why? Because of these freaking gloves that you gave me. Oh my goodness. Because of the gloves Are that you gave serious? me. Are you serious? Yeah. Look at this, guys. Because of the glove you gave me. You, you Look at that. Oh, man. Look at that. Oh. Okay. It's you. Why did you give me those gloves? I didn't because want the gloves. I did not want the gloves. That's why I wasn't using them. You. Come on. Don't do that. What are you doing? You're making it even worse. Well, you got to get well, it What up. are you doing? Come on. So why did you give me this if you're going to do that? Come on. Come on. You just completely destroyed it now. Well, it was completely no, destroyed. No, I didn't. Oh, look you, at that. No, you should not have done that. that. You gave me the spatula so I can pick it up, but then you use a spoon and start scooping everything out. It's ridiculous. Oh. Come on. Take that whole tray out, don't, it'll be don't, fine. No, don't tell me what to do anymore. I'm not going to follow the instruction anymore. You should completely make a mess of this. I don't know why you, why you even did that. You gave me the spatula, but then you use a spoon and just completely make a mess of it. Why would you do that? Don't split a blood don't, vessel. Don't, don't tell me what to do. Don't split a blood I'm vessel. I'm not splitting a blood vessel, but don't tell Before me what I, to do. I, 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 don't, I don't call you it. to the informer window. I don't want to hear it anymore. I don't want to hear it. Look what he did, guys. I don't want to hear it. All that work, I and don't he wrecked hear the quiche. Wow. Sometimes you just got to leave me alone, let me do my thing, and don't get involved. Because see what happens when you get involved? I it didn't drop it. You dropped it. No, I dropped it because you, you gave me those freaking gloves. I didn't want the gloves to begin with. I because I can handle it without let him it. burn his fingers. Yes, please. Oh, grouch. Wow. He just mad at himself because he dropped it. Oh, <laughs> oh Davis. Myself. Davis family said, Jamaican men don't use oven mitts. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Ridiculous. Any complex has using just your hands. That's so Jamaican. Yeah. His bare hands. Yeah, and then crazy. when he used the oven mitts, he crying. had the nerve to drop the thing. I and then he's going to yell at me. No, I was completely fine doing it. Davis family says, next time, just leave you to let your burn off your hands. Thank you. Look at that. Look at that beautiful pie. And I would not have burned my hand, you know. Look at that. Look at that. Let me tell you. Mmm, so it tastes good. The minute you got involved, you screwed it up. I screwed it up? Yeah. No. You have to take your own blame wow. there. Oh my God, they're perfect. The vegetarians are coming for you because that's the vegetarian. <laughs> that was the vegetarian one that, 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 that had the little mishap. But they look amazing. See those guys? All that hard work. No, they're still good. No, they don't want to hear Mmm, the crust. Nice. I'm gonna turn this oven on so you can start cleaning because you can't see it. No, no, just let it cool. It, it, when we turn the self clean on, it'll it'll be fine. It's not that bad. I want to just turn it on. Now, tonight. like this one isn't as crunchy as that one. Does that matter? Because this one is, that one has to go back in. No, no, it's still cooked. It's just not. It's just not as as brown. Oh. Hmm. Any complex says five second rule. Well, it didn't fall on the floor. It just fell kind of. It wasn't in the in. It in wasn't. The oven. It wasn't about five seconds. It's about 
I'm doing this thing and I'm going along nicely. I'm taking them, each one of them out by myself. And then somebody handed me a set of foreigner gloves. <laughs> that was the vegetable <laughs> Somebody <laughs> handed me a pair of, pair of foreigner gloves, which I didn't want. And they more got in the way than anything else. And just Okay, next time pie. I'm going to let you burn your Jamaican hands. Please do. Okay. Please All right. do. Poor Jordan. That was the vegetable one. Is that Jordan? Yeah, Jordan. Oh, said hush. I, Jordan, hush. <laughs> Jordan hush. Said, I bet that must have been the vegetable hush. one. Yes. <laughs> yes. Sorry, Jordan. So but anyway. it's, it's still perfectly fine. It's just a little bit, a little crumbled. So where Jordan says he feels like that was a setup. No, Jordan. Well, mm -hmm. there are two vegetable ones. So all vegetable ones. No, we only have one vegetable for Ina. Because Ina is a vegetarian. Well, you we have to eat all the meat stuff. Davis family said, Oh Lord, if it's really hot, they'll use a spoon or a knife to thank, edge thank it out. You. <laughs> yeah. Why? Why can't they just use the bloody I'm trying to find rest out. in peace, veggie quiche? <laughs> <laughs> rest in peace. Oh god. Did you want a piece of the quiche? It has to sit and rest. Yeah, it has to sit for a bit. But this one here. This one, just, just let it sit and rest. It's not too bad. It doesn't look too bad. Yeah. That one's definitely staying home. <laughs> yeah. It tastes a little wow. eggy. It tastes eggy. It's cooked. Yeah, it's cooked. But it tastes a little eggy. Like, Did you want to put that one back in? This one looks like, a, like this one looks really nicely brown. No, I should put this one back in and just give it a little. A little tastes a little eggy to me. A little eggy. Yeah. It's unnatural to you all to use. The oven mitts. Yeah. 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 See? And he's mitts. putting it back in the oven without the, 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 the burner, the with, without the mitts. Look at that. Wow. Does that need to go back in? Yes. Yes. It just needs... I, I just need to broil it. Okay. I just need to broil it. I don't How to... somebody can take out a whole pie that's just been in the oven for 45 minutes without oven mitts is beyond me. Do you know, can I, can I give you an example? Do you and they want to blame me when he drops it. Do you remember going to going <laughs> to Blue Mountain? He said, Annie Complex says, squash it in the pan and top it with cheese and don't And do it again. <laughs> <laughs> Just make a sandwich out of it. Fix. That's the Canadian way. Do you remember going to Blue Mountain? Okay. And from the pool, we went out into the hot tub outside in the snow. Do you remember that? I don't. I don't. Okay. The whole point is you didn't have time to get cold. Okay. So the point I'm trying to make here is that when you reach in the oven and you grab that pie shell with your bare hand, it really doesn't have time for that heat to, to really soak down in, in your hand to burn you. Before or maybe you, because you've done it so many times that you, you, you're, you're immune. Yeah, that's a possibility as well. Because trust and believe, if I touched it, it would have plenty of time to reach my fingers the more my body soft. can do you're soft. I was raised in Jamaica. You were raised in Halliburton. There's a problem. <laughs> okay, you're soft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You hear that? Davis family says she told me to just leave him be. Yeah, I'm going <laughs> to leave you be. Don't come telling me about that you have burns on your fingers or your fingers hurt. or doesn't matter to me. I'm broiling it. You're broiling it? Yep, put some crust on it. I mean, it's fine. No, I'm just putting a little color on the top. Because mm. now she just wants to sit here and chomp away at the dropped pie. Oh, he's already put put um, the uh, a couple of others back in to get a little bit more brown on top. Listen, this is the dropped pie. That's not so bad. The crust is where the crust should be. That's not so bad. It's not so it's, bad. It's, it's a, it's a, it's a. It's, it's just like it's, scrambled eggs. It's a deconstructive pie, okay? Ah, you know something? I never thought of that, and that's a good thing. She says, Davis family says, that's why you never have them check the baby's milk or bath water because they have no feelings up to their shoulders. It's true. Wow. Because you do stuff like that. <laughs> so when you say that things are hot, they're piping hot. <laughs> now, Tariq says that that stuff looks good. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, Absolutely. it's deconstructed. It's a little deconstructed quiche, but it still tastes amazing. Tastes good. I'll eat that one. I'll eat that one for Jordan. Linda says it's an upside down quiche. There you go. <laughs> it still has all the ingredients. It's perfectly fine. And the crust is amazing. See, you have a little bit of everything. It's just like scrambled eggs. And the beauty, mm. the beauty of uh, the beauty of having a quiche is that you can actually you can actually have quiche for breakfast, lunch, mm-hmm. or dinner. Because just imagine a slice of this quiche with a little salad. That's your lunch. All right. And that could be your dinner. Okay. Finally, someone's coming to my defense. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Nobius Nightshade. Him should have gone off him and ha 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 blaming low because Whoa. your finger <laughs> failed you. Very good. <laughs> my, Thank you, Nobius. My finger did not fail me. It's those 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 silicone gloves that she gave me. That's what failed His me. His fingers failed him, Nobius, no. and he's trying to my blame me. My fingers did not fail me at because all. he That's dropped not... the quiche. No, no, that was your fault. At was least good. it didn't I drop was, on I the was floor. Good enough. I was good enough managing on my own. <laughs> and then you came around and said, oh, you can't do that without the gloves. You're going to have to use it. That's now, what- we're being called out because we're nibbling while everyone's mouth is watering. Guys, I mm-hmm. want you all to make your own quiches, and I want you to send me pictures. Look at this, babe. Look at this. <laughs> what? I'm going in. Look You're this. going in? Oh, geez. He's touching it without with his bare hands again. If you drop it, I'm gonna beat you. Watch it, watch it. The thing is burning in the nose. Look at he's that. Look still at color on that. He's still going in there. Okay, let's watch him. Go ahead. Watch it. Not long enough to burn. Wow. That wow. Was not long enough to burn. Wow. Novius that Nightshade is, not, is laughing at you and said, bright. It has nothing to do with the gloves. Bright. <laughs> that was not long enough. Look at that, guys. Look at those colors. Beautiful. Not long enough to burn the fingers. They smell great. So basically, it's just scrambled eggs and toast. You want to call it that? Yeah. it's It's so good. If you've never had a quiche before. It's just very French. Oh Why my gosh. Uh, she said, uh, oh, a crustless quiche for keto people. Nice, mm, nice. Oh, that's a, that's a frittata. Oh, that's true. Davis family says I should have just put the camera down and left the building. <laughs> she says when Marvin is using a machete or a knife, matches or flammable liquid, she's just usually looking the other way with her <laughs> mouth sealed shut. Oh, Oh, I feel you. I feel your pain. And look at him over there now. After he's yelled at me, he's over there devouring the deconstructed quiche. He can't even speak. His mouth is full. I'm trying not to waste all the labor that I put into this. Uh. But instead, get a fork and sample the goodness. This is for you, Jordan. (laughs) Oh. Oh. (laughs) <laughs> Jordan, we're going to have to make you another one and put it in the uh, the freezer for you. Now you have everybody laughing at you. Look at him over there eating up mm. the uh, mm. how does it taste? It's lovely. It's lovely? Absolutely delicious. Look at He did good though. And Tariq is also laughing at you. Tariq, I'm, I'm enjoying this, brother. I am so enjoying this. Would you like some? No. I've had enough. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going back to sit in the living room because those have to cool. We can't eat those yet. We can't cut into them yet because they have to cool. And if you cut them now, they're just going to kind of fall apart. Sorry if I'm walking too fast and making you guys all dizzy. Now we have quite a few gifts. Are you? Do you guys have this under your tree? You have all the gifts there and it's a matter of putting them away. Oh my goodness. As a matter of fact, I need to share something with you that is 
hilarious. And I and actually we should publicly thank him. Nino should publicly thank him. Yeah. Now, oh, I forgot I had this here. Now we had one of our wonderful um Viewer? viewers, subscribers, <laughs> friends. Um and he's all he's also my mechanic. Yes. And he stopped <laughs> off with the best gift that you can get, Nino. And he, he watches us here and he said, you know, he watches and he follows the recipes. And you know, Nino's always saying a little smidgen of this and a little smidgen of that. But he says he needs measurements. He needs measurements. So he's <laughs> dropped off a brand new set of measuring cup and spoons <laughs> and a measuring cup for Nino. The best. I thought this was so, he really thought gift. this through though. Yes. He really thought this through. Thanks, Mike. I appreciate it, man. And I think he gave you a little Thanks, bubbly Mike. to go with it. That was such a good gift. And I'm going to make sure he uses it, Mike, because. So anybody that's looking for, for, for tires, you got to see Mike. Our tires to go on Kingston Road. That's if you live tires in Toronto. Tires to go. If you live in Toronto, see Mike at Tires to Go. He's the man. He's got all the tires for you. <laughs> now, Nobia <laughs> says the camera caught his misplaced anger and the food brought the fam back to the essence, which is cooking with love. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, clap, clap, great stream, love you both. <laughs> oh, my God. That is funny. That is funny. Misplaced angers. And that. she says, what are the measurements? First time hearing of that. She, what are measurements? What are measurements? Yeah, there's no measurements. He always says a smidge. Listen. A little I sprinkle of this. You do everything to taste. I insist that when taste. he cooks, that we have a list of ingredients including the measurements. You have to have a recipe so that somebody can <laughs> reproduce what you see he's cooked. But the reproduction like that you're doing teeth could get him to the give reproduction that you're doing is based on your own personal taste. Not necessarily. If I'm going to if I want to recreate the dish the way that you have mm -hmm. prepared it in front of me, I need to know But recreating the dish to my taste may not be suitable to you. No, but once I've mastered the dish, then I can, you know, a little dish of this or I can augment mm -hmm. that. But if I'm not somebody who knows how to cook very well and I'm trying to learn from you, I need to, at the beginning, I need to use these so mm. I can say a smidge of this. I can't say a smidge. I need to have an exact measurement. Okay. Like you need to... Then use a half a teaspoon for everything. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> going forward into 2022, yes. I think I'm gonna, these I think I'm gonna have are to going to be his Mike, best Mike friends. Gonna, Mike's got me handcuffed now. Yes. Now I'm gonna have to... Let me see that little... Yes, these wow, it's are going like to be a breakfast. An eighth, look at this, one eighth of a teaspoon. Like, what on earth? People actually yes, need that? You need to, before Whoa. people start learning how to modify recipes, they have to learn how to follow that a is recipe. Crazy. For all you non cooks out there, those? such as myself, these are our best friends. We need to know how to, how much. You can't just say, oh, just a, a smidge of this, a smidge of that. You do that all the time. And you were called out. This was the best <laughs> gift you could have ever got for Christmas. The best. Mike, you wins. You Thank win you, hands down. <laughs> See, Davis family say that it, maybe it's a Jamaican thing where they, mm, where they don't measure anything. Don't measure a thing. Hence the reason why I've never been successful at baking. And I've mm. never had an interest in baking because baking is much too precise for me. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to measure everything. By the time I finish measure all the ingredients... I could have been in bed sleeping. It well, just takes too long. Davis family is saying that it's all about a handful of this, mm. a dash of that, a sprinkle of that okay. are the only measurements that they okay. know. And they will keep throwing things into the soup pot until, until the ancestors stay stuck. That's it. So That's consult it. your ancestors, That's people. It. That's how you mm -hmm. cook. <laughs> and uh, our buddies over at Black's Tropical Homestead are having a great time. They say that this is hilarious, and they're so glad that they're here. Thank well, you guys. we're so glad that you're here, Thank you too. guys for being here, supporting us. Yes. You know, right into 2022. Yes. We appreciate it. We appreciate all, all the love, all the love and support. You guys are yeah. awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much. And uh, we are, we're, we, actually, we did pretty good, like, we, we started this YouTube channel kind of as a as a, as a dare. It was as a almost dare. as a dare. As a dare of. from the kids because yeah. the kids had this that 
we're not cool enough. We right. can't have a YouTube page. We're like, so we just kind of look at each other like, we're going to show them. Right. And now <laughs> I've them. become uh, <laughs> like the master editor, the producer, oh, yeah. the director, mm -hmm. the, uh, what am I? The cinematographer. I, I, um, what am she, I? I'm the talent. Her, she, she missed her calling. <laughs> Yeah. She missed her calling because she's done an amazing job. Yeah. All the editing work that you see in there, guys. Yeah. Is right here. Lo is the master editor. She she's actually self-taught herself. Yeah. And yeah. she's gone through and she works tirelessly. Yeah. On getting videos out and creating content and you know. That's and I, and the magic I, and right there. We are very close uh to our magic uh monetization number. We only need about 500 hours, and it seems like this last is little it? sprint is just slowed right down. But you know what? It's all about the process. I'm not rushing it. It's all about the process. It'll come when it comes. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, Sue says she likes baking. Yeah, we don't really bake much in this house. They, yeah. Nino has tried. Nino has tried, but he's not. Um, he's not a big baker. And Tariq is one of those type of people that does a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And Tariq also said, guys, run a playlist. Uh, we would Oh, we would appreciate it if you would run a playlist. We would appreciate it very much. And I, you know, I try to run as many videos of, of that I can, but it's very difficult. But as small YouTubers, we know one hand washes the other. So <clears throat> try your best to try to run anybody's playlist um, if you get a chance. Sometimes I'll do it when I'm doing laundry. If I'm driving in the car, I'm running videos and try my best to comment on them. That's what we have to do with each other, honestly. Um, so Black's Tropical Homestead, they said that they don't have measuring, I guess they don't have measuring cups or anything either. And they always try to say how much when recording uh, but they get tired and just say season to your taste. Mm -mm, that's it. Yeah, yeah. Some of season this and some of that. Taste. And I think that's a, that's a lot of Caribbean cooking. It's always season to your taste. It's not so much of a written recipe per se. Right. So you're you're saying you start, that you start from low, from low. You are putting the ingredients. You start from. You're saying low. this number is incorrect. You understand? If you are putting in salt. You wouldn't put in a big spoonful of salt one time. Yeah, You yeah. put a little, then you taste, and, and you put in enough to your taste. When your taste is level off, then you start putting. Yeah. Some well, people just use, just follow the recipe, and if they said half teaspoon of salt, regardless if it's too salt, they just take up a teaspoon of salt and pour it in the recipe, and then it's spoil like that. True, because true. You, you don't taste the butter before you. you, you, you pour true. It well, there. it's always recommended that you taste before you add additional seasoning. Yeah, you're supposed to taste the butter. Yeah. Well, everybody's giving shout outs to the editors, and I will take I will take the shout outs, and I'm gonna give the shout outs back to all the people who edit because editing is not easy, especially when you just start out on YouTube and you know absolutely nothing about YouTube and editing <clears throat> and all that kind of stuff. But I mean, slowly but surely you get to kind of understand and you just do it. You just have to do it. If you want to be a YouTuber, you got to learn to edit. And it does take a while, but uh, I absolutely love Pops. You can listen to him all day. You have all the wisdom. That's Blocks Tropical Homestead. Now, where are you guys located? Because you, I think you're in a you're in a warm climate. Obviously, you're Blacks Tropical, but I'm not sure if you're on an island or if you're um, in a southern state. And Davis family says, "You just taste as you go. You got it right." Oh, and he says you got to teach Sue because burnout is real. Burnout is real. Oh, blacks, they're in, they're in Savannah, Georgia. Okay. Savannah, Georgia. Burnout with YouTube is real. Mm -hmm. But you just have to persevere and just keep 
keep it can going. be it can be discouraging at times too. Very discouraging. It can be discouraging. You th you think within yourself that you're doing all this work, you're putting all this effort in, and and you almost feel like you're going backwards sometimes. Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, yeah, but we just just you know when we first started, we just didn't pay as much attention to the watch time as we should have. Yeah. We focus a lot more energy on this subscriber, the content and just putting stuff out. Right? And we put it out. We got subscribers. We got over a thousand. And we realized that getting to that 4,000 mark, 4,000 viewing hours mm -hmm. is, is a task. Yeah. It's a task, but you got to just persevere and just keep pushing ahead. Yep. Uh, Black's Tropical Home said, says that they're about to grow a hundred tropical fruit plants. Ooh, that sounds exciting. Because they are subtropical where they are in Savannah, Georgia. That must be nice. Yeah, they're in there. They're in Georgia. That there's a there's a set that's in Georgia, and there's a, the Davis family that are in Jamaica. So what? That 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 what they're growing? Uh, they just said a hundred tropical fruit plants. What that? What that? Okay, so he wants to know what tropical fruit plants you guys plan to grow. And Davis family says that the YouTube is not for the faint of heart. No. That's and for that shizzle. is for That's for shizzle. sure. That's for shizzle. That's for sure. But you just got to keep uh, keep pushing and, you know, eventually. The Davis family in. Is in St. Elizabeth. No, I'm trying to remember where they said. Near Magati. Yeah. Near Magati. Near Jamaica. Yeah. They, Davis family South lives Coast. in Jamaica, yeah. That's where I'm just telling you the Appleton. Rum factory? Oh. That's where we're on Apple. Now, Rum you want to hear a joke? A weekend. I'll tell you this Very joke, nice tour. Davis family. <clears throat> we were in Jamaica one time. I I don't, I believe my dad might have been with us, but we were driving from the Montego Bay to Kingston and we were going, we we're passing through, was it the South Coast or no, something? No, we're going from Kingston to Montego Bay. But we were, we were passing along the South Coast. Yes. Anyhow. He likes to stop at the roadside and buy, you know, whatever, fruit, soup, whatever they're cooking at the roadside. So it was kind of early. We stopped. Oh, this would be and I know what you're talking about. Is this Faith Pen? I, I don't remember. But anyhow, they were making soup. <laughs> oh, no, they were no, no. Making, okay. no, they were making we're soup. From, and, I, and we we're pull up and I Monty look Green. in and I thought, soup? Like, the, it doesn't look like a good rich soup. It just looks like a big cauldron of bubbling dirty water but uh, anyhow we buy this soup so they give you this little cup with this soup so i said okay fine i'll try this soup so as we're driving away in the car i take this the, a sip of the soup and the little peas are as hard as a rock and i said to him i said oh my gosh these people are so greedy to start selling the soup they didn't even wait until the peas were boiled so that the peas were soft i'll give you i'll give you a little background to that we were coming down spur tree hill and we made a stop. So go ahead. Yeah, and, and, and then he tries the soup. And he's like, those aren't peas. Those are peanuts. I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> there was peanuts in the, soup, in the and, soup. And they're not like soft peanuts. The peanuts were as hard as a rock. And I thought, okay, here, you can have mine. But these are things like, yeah, I don't know. Peanut, peanut no cook soft. It won't cook soft. I've never had, peanut in, never had peanut in the if soup. If I have beans, like... Kidney beans or whatever in a soup, they're they're soft, they're cooked right. out. Peas cook soft, but peanut don't cook soft. But I've never mm, known crunchy. peanuts to be in a soup. Peanut I've never had crunchy. peanuts in a soup. Peanut corn, corn. Well, the young corn will cook a little bit soft, but the older corn, they had cook hard. <laughs> you know. See, Tariq says he sees your videos where you're always stopping at the roadside for fresh mm, fruit. All the time. Nino stops at the roadside the for everything. I, stop. I will. I'm a street food kind of guy. I will go. I will go to any country in the world, and I will go and buy street food. See, Davis. Davis that me, doesn't like uh, peanuts in the soup either. That to me is how you can you can embrace a culture and is by little, stopping and eating the local and food. And like the is, yeah. is is carn. How many? You use a card grain to make a mini. Mm. Whoever tastes that. 
Now, uh, Black's Tropical Homestead said that they're they're planting mangoes, pineapple, banana, mm-hmm. passion fruit, wow. mm-hmm. Jamaican cherry, mm-hmm. guava, wow. jackfruit, lychee, oh, tamarind, dragon fruit, wow. plantain, sugarcane, uh, more than one variety of each. So a sap. That is nice. That's wow, nice. That's that nice. is quite, That's quite the list. Exactly. Oh, I can't that's, wait to see those that's videos. Interesting. That would be nice. The other day, uh, we went to the store and Nino picked up three mangoes. What type of mangoes were they? I have no idea. They were good looking mangoes. Three mangoes twenty one dollars. Twenty one dollars. If you I can just believe that. Stop the cashier twenty one Canadian say, whoa. dollars for whoa, whoa, whoa. three mangoes. Take those off. Take those off the cash register. I don't want them. Because I'm not paying twenty one dollars for three minutes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Annie insane. Complex says that they boil uh, <laughs> peanuts until they're soft in Florida, and they were very delicious. Wow. And Davis family says yes. How many corn is uh, porridge is her favorite? Mm-hmm. Yeah. How many corn meal porridge is amazing? Shout out to Mr. Bob Williams. Oh, he says Black's Homestead says they also have sour sap. Mm-hmm. Who's shouting out to Bob Williams? Uh, any complex that would be Joshua. Is he in? Is he in the chat? He's been in the chat. Oh, he was, but you didn't tell me he was in the chat. That's who any complex is, dear. Uncle Bob. No, no, no. He's shouting out Bob. I guess Bob made how many corn for him? Oh, okay. No, I thought it was in the chat. Okay. No. Oh, uh, Black's uh, Tropical Homestead says maybe Kent Mango. It might have been Kent. Mm. It might have been Kent. Yeah. It's pretty expensive. They're, they're beautiful or mangoes. Or Davis family is saying maybe it was East Indian. No, it wasn't East Indian. Because I've we never, don't, I don't think I've ever had a Kent mango. Kent, Kent is Kent is what's it. There's not a lot of good varieties of mangoes in the store right now. It's very limited. But it, it's not. Limited. It's not. Is it mango time where you not, guys are in Jamaica or, no, or in, in, Jamaica. in Georgia? I don't think South it's mango. I don't in think South it's America. mango season. Oh, in South America because now it's South America is their summer. Okay. So okay. we get mangoes coming up from there. Mangoes finish at Jamaica yeah. from August, September. Okay, okay. Yeah, that, that I like to go to Jamaica during mango time because that's August, my favorite. August time and mango yeah, time. You get a lot of mangoes. A lot of good mangoes. But it has to be Julie mangoes. I like the East Julie. Indian is good too. Yeah, East Indian is good. I'm a Julie kind of guy too. I like Julie. She says uh, it's not mango season and it's hard to grow in Georgia. I guess they don't grow mangoes in Georgia very mm. well. Okay, okay. Engrafted, engraft them and see if they grow better. No, uh, my dad is suggesting uh, grafting the, the mangoes and see if that helps. But you guys know best. You guys are growing all sorts of tropical fruits. Uh, Davis family is waiting patiently. They have some mangoes. On their trees, their trees are blossoming. Nice. You guys are so lucky. Mango season. What type of mangoes June. do you guys are, are, are you guys growing, Davis family? They have Julie and one East Indy, East Indian mango tree. Nice. Oh, I'm the Julie. Nobia Julie. says he do, he likes mangoes that don't get stuck in your teeth. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you see the common mango. They said uh, Black worm. said all of their trees are grafted trees. In graft, in yeah. Graft. Right. Here we don't we our growing season is so short mm. that we don't we can't grow we can't grow that. any type of exotic fruit like that. Although we do have some of uh palm trees. I've seen other people in Ontario put up on different uh gardening sites that they're growing. But they have to grow and banana. No, or no, mm. no, some mm. of the palms they have big palm really? trees in their yard. Yeah, oh wow. yeah. How do they withstand the winter? Oh, I don't know. Right. They, do, the they do. They do. They do. They they have some palm trees that they grow here in Ontario, Canada. And this man has a whole bunch in his yard and they survived the winter. Look at today when we went to the backyard, I had my little sago palm and it's still alive. Mm. And I left it out there. Totally forgot it in the backyard. Maybe tucked much in, more resilient tuck, than think. Tucked in close to the garage. I put it in the garage, hopefully... Um, I didn't totally kill it, but it's still alive. Mind you, our winter has been very mild so far. So far, yeah. so far it's been mild. It's about it's about three set of palm you have, you know. Okay. It's about three set of palm tree you have, you know. You have one where 
one set of palm will grow together. You have six palm growing in one, right? And you have another one will grow and bear like coconut. And you have another one with oh. beer, it beer seal like coconut, but it, it it's a smaller berry. But what they and and the trunk, the trunk of the leaf is much taller than the than the other palm. Because what they do when the leaf is right, the, the, the hooks from around the palm, they use it for, for, for like a thing like mud. They dry it and they use it for a, for a comfort like mud. Like you'd make a mat yeah. and, and, and lay it on the floor and you, you can sleep on it. What are you doing? Yeah, I understand. Now, Tariq says, thank God it's only two months till spring. Why don't you turn your volume down, sir? Yeah, I just turned down. Yeah, yeah. so, so it's, your life is just on my phone. It's okay. Different, different pumps. Yes. About four categories. Now, uh, they have blacks has Excalibur, Namdok, and Kerry mango trees. Okay, I've never heard of those ones. Never heard, but uh, Davis family is saying that in Jamaica, the sun is so brutal, it's burning the blossoms off their mango trees. Hmm. I would think that right now it wouldn't be as hot in Jamaica, but she's saying the oh, sun is pretty it, brutal. It, it, the mango tree not burn off a tree. Oh, under yeah. The sun, under the sun, it burn it. Oh, well. The mango blossom, and then it drop the blossom, and, and the little mango start to grow. And, and, and then from there, mango drop, 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 till the crop finish. Well, they're saying if they make it through February, yes, then they're, it, they'll, they'll be safe. And Nobia says that he'll rather listen to Grandpa than to Google. True mm -hmm. experience. You know? It's funny, but Grandpa... Uh, resorts to Google every now and again because we have our Google kind of like our Alexa. Yeah, you see, you see. And every now and again, he'll have to consult Google. You, you see, if you if you bring up the mango plant now, you you see the blossom, and I can show you how the blossom stay from the, the, the from where it come from. Yeah, it grew, the mango grow from the blossom. Yes, and it drop. It never stop drop. Yes, but she's saying right. that right so now the that the mango, sun. Yeah, they're telling you exactly. They're what's telling you that the tree. sun in on, on their tree. That's what's happening is, with their tree. Yeah. Is is the sun is so hot right now in Jamaica that it's burning off some of their blossoms. Yeah. And if the blossom gets burnt off, that what does that mean? No, no mango on that blossom. Well, the blossom well, can't, you can't grow without blossom. Oh, I the, don't know. The blossom, the, comes comes first? the blossom is the fruit. Okay. Right. I don't know the term in the, the, the sun of burn Oh, off she the said that they haven't had rain in weeks. Wow. It's because so it's a hot. tropical dry. country and that's the way that's the way the mango grow. Listen, so, no, Davis no, no, family, no. I don't, I, I'm, I'm not feeling too sorry for you all down there in your tropical, uh, oasis. Jamaica <laughs> oasis, uh, <laughs> you know, with your beaches and all your lush vegetation. And, I'm not, and, your, and your river. Yeah, I'm not feeling too sorry <laughs> for you when we're at minus eight here right now. <laughs> Oh, their mango is blooming in Georgia. It's getting cool there. Now, it's funny, uh, Blacks, I was looking at uh, the TV and how this last storm this week ravaged across the U.S. all the way down to Florida. They were getting snow and and people couldn't deal with it. They were going crazy and schools were shut down and workplace was shut down and the, the, the I-95 was shut down. It was almost wasn't funny, but it, it, it just, it was a little comical to me that that little bit of snow could knock everything out of whack like that. <laughs> Nobia says Google probably emails grandpa now. Because, <laughs> because mango, mango, mango in Jamaica, you have about 12 categories of mangoes. In. Yeah. More, maybe more than that. Maybe. But my favorite is the Julie Mango. Yes. Sir. Oh, they they live. Uh, Davis family say they live on a hill. So first thing in the morning is when the sun is very hot. Hmm. Well, I I still don't envy you because I see your very lovely homestead and all that wonderful land that you have that you're planting. So I I don't envy you too much. Uh, they have lots of wind, but it's like 50 to 
to 60 and Sunday it'll be 76. Oh, like, uh, so you guys are up on a hill, Davis family? Yeah, they're up on a hill. Oh, they yeah. Interesting. Now, Blacks, you do realize that we have Celsius here in this country, like most of the world. The U.S. is the only one that's still on Fahrenheit. Y'all need to... And feed feet and inches. Yeah, y'all need to get with the metric system like the rest of us in the world. Ooh, Davis family have Julie, East Indies, mm. Common, Robin, and Turpentine? Turpentine. Turpentine, mm -hmm. and the list goes on. Wow. You, you have, have Graham? Yeah. You, have, you have, have Graham? I've been longing to eat a Graham mango. For now, Annie Complex says, one love, everybody, and good night. Happy New Year. Happy Sabbath. And I can't wait to see more <clears throat> in Fama Window and recipes. Stay blessed, and we will get you monetized together. Thank you Thank so you, much. Thank you, Annie Complex. We appreciate and it. Everybody, Don't forget please, to give us a thumbs up, if guys. If you're into anime and cartooning, please go to Annie Complex and give him a watch. He's a up-and-coming page. We have to support each other. <laughs> Black's Tropical Home Sense says U.S. is always behind the times. Ask, ask <laughs> Black family if, 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 if they can still grow coconut. Well, they're they're not in Jamaica. The Blacks family's in Georgia. You know the one where they are marketing. Where? Oh, that's the Davis family. Yeah, after they... Davis family, if they can grow coconut. Okay, they can hear you. They said, "Oh, the Davis family said they still use feet and inches." Ask Marvis. He's he's in construction. They still use feet and inches in Jamaica. Do they? I guess they use feet and inches. They're not on Celsius officially, or most of the people still use. Actually, feet and because inches. when I listen, the last uh, policeman stopped me. He stopped me based on me traveling kilometers. Okay, right. so it wasn't miles; it was kilometers. He used. He said, "You're going." No, but what's their? What's the official? I don't know what the what's official the official? Is. Um, units that they I mean, use. Being a British, being a British and they say colony, yes, they grow coconuts. They're, they're Commonwealth British yeah. colony. Yes, they grow they, coconuts. They, they, they plant the coconut. No, they can. They get it, it grow. They said yes, they grow coconuts. Sure. Yes, well, I'll it, show you the. I'll show you their video and I'll show you where they live. Because in Saint Catherine, you plant the coconut, you can, it won't grow anymore. But St. Catherine is so hot and dry. No, not so dry. dry. And St. Catherine used to carry the most coconut, but 1980, 81, they, 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 they spray a thing and kill out the whole coconut farm. Oh, they, Davis Farmer says they use Celsius. And then from then, the coconut cannot inches. grow anymore. Okay. If you plant the coconut, it don't grow up anymore. Well, they, they, they grow coconuts. They grow a lot of things on their farm. That, and, um, they grow the the yams. I saw them planting and reaping from the yam hills. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, I mean, I don't know how they garden in Jamaica. It's so hot and dry. I don't know how everything doesn't burn up. Like, here in the summertime when we feel it's so hot and we have to keep on top of the watering, I couldn't imagine keeping keeping on top of the yeah, watering in Jamaica. Get, they get, they, no, in this time, they're getting a lot of a heat heat wave in Jamaica. Ever since we, I left Jamaica, the weather pattern changed. Because it used to be, you see, in May month, in the, in the month of May. Yes. It used to be rainy month all through the year. Right. From May and then October, you used to have rain. But the, the pattern changed. That's your. Well, that's, that's, the, that's everywhere. That's yeah, that's global warming, chain. global warming everywhere. You know. Fast right. yet journey. Hello, hello, welcome. Mm. We have been here chatting. Uh, we did a little cooking. We made some quiche. Uh, the quiche are all finished now, and they're cooling. Nino's in the kitchen, probably sneaking a piece. But we made some shrimp with bacon, shrimp with. Um, sorry, quiche with bacon, quiche with shrimp, and one with just vegetables. Now, Davis family is saying yam, gungo peas, sweet sop, june plum, cherry, plantain, banana, coconut, mango, tomato, sweet pepper, star fruit, aki, avocado. That's all the stuff that they have now. Davis family, I am coming to shop on your farm. <laughs> they have a lot Them of stuff. Them kind of something that's so good. 
<laughs> oh, and soursop too. Oh, oh yeah. I love soursop. Do you guys have a sweet sop tree on your on your property? Because sweet sop is the bomb. Sweet sop would go. Oh, best yet. Journey wants to know how Christmas was, and did I buy all the kids' gifts? She Shh. did. She did. <laughs> she did. She did. Shh. And I can guarantee you, they're probably still underneath the tree, because yeah. I know I she. Some I, good I, gifts. I, I know she did because Absolutely the credit card bill is feeling it right now. It's not Absolutely. feeling it. Whatever. It's budgeted for it. Listen, Davis family, they got Costa da Bruce. I believe they said they did. Costa da Bruce. You are crazy. Though. Where's my gift? Which one? I want to show them my gift. Which one? You got so many. Oh, here it is. Now I got a lot of good gifts. But look at this one, guys! It's a, it's, it's like a, it's like a hydroponic grow thing. What's it called? Smart garden, and it works with an app. And, anyways, I'm gonna do an unboxing, and I'm gonna keep you guys abreast of my progress with this thing. But you can grow all sorts of things. You can grow. Um, Peppers, mm. tomatoes, just, you can grow flowers. I can't wait to get this thing up and running. This yeah, is one of my favorite gifts. I decided, <laughs> I decided, I decided where, where, where them said we did mix up with all kind of stuff and it, it, it can produce. Oh, so see, they said that there was some sweet sop uh, trees on the property when they bought it and they planted everything else. And she says to tell you that they don't have any custard apple. Right. But they have no, all those they, they have all those other things. I can't wait to get into this because you can grow uh, basil. And you know how Nino loves to make his pesto. So and you can grow thyme. So it just grows. It I can grow anywhere and I it decided. doesn't even need um uh, to be in a lighted window because it has its own little grow light attached to Maybe it. Maybe at the, the side and then they might send seed with it too. Well, this Some doesn't, CD this light. comes with a specialized little pod. So yeah. this is very futuristic. So I can't wait to get in with this. Um, yeah, Nobius, this is crazy cool. Like and I can't grow, wait like to window. use that. Okay. I, I, yes, I'm still alive. You guys have to come and say hi. We have we have some uh well they're not kids, they're grown adults. Yes, they're hydroponics. Come, come, you need to come. Davis family says. Oh, they're talking to blacks to say they have everything. Okay, let's go in the kitchen and see what Nina's doing. I think he's eating the quiche. You guys are off the house. Wow. <laughs> wow. What are you doing? Shucking oysters. Oh my goodness. Did you like some oysters? This is Tyler. Oh, Everyone knows Tyler. And that's Jade. Say hi, Jade. Hi. Yes, <laughs> we're still talking on live because we oh don't worry. <laughs> She's shy. Uh, Ew, look at these ugly things. What are you gonna do with these? Eat them. Ew. Yeah, where do you find them? I've never really shucked an oyster before. Ew. I got them from Ew. Metro. Nobius Nightshade says, let's have the new Tyler and Jade show. Tyler and Jade show. No one's show. No one's show. It's a boring show, I promise you that. <laughs> oh, they're just about cooled. I can't wait to dig in. What's that mean? We made some quiche. Ooh. Okay, we're going to leave them with their oysters. Shucking oysters. We shuck. Ew. We do the shucking. Ew. What are they? What kind of, what kind of oysters are they? Hold on. Raspberry point. Raspberry point Ooh. oysters. Raspberry Ooh. point that oysters. Wise, wise. Oh. That is I'm not an oyster kind of girl. I thought you were in there eating. Okay, I thought you were in there eating. Okay. 
them, well, become, them become so small like grass, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah, See? Man, the chemicals match up the soil. Davis family says that they were counting the quiche to make sure that you weren't in there eating the quiche <laughs> while we were here talking about hydroponics. <laughs> no, I was I was in there uh, cleaning up. Yeah, they do. They do look like snot to me too. They're in there with you. Eat oysters, of course you do. Huh? Wow! Somebody said they look like snot. Yep. Someone said they look like snot. <laughs> oysters? Just gotta. You just gotta. Just down them. You can't. The thing about you oysters. Wanna go, you want to go in? The thing about oysters, you can't even chew them. You want to go do it? You gotta swallow them. Here, take it and go do the oysters. Why? They shucking it? Yeah. Here, go ahead. Can I bring bring some? Because then I. Because then I want to shuck. I stop good man. All right, let's see what's going on here. You guys are shucking oysters? Yeah, we're shucking oysters. You know how to shuck oysters? I know how to shuck them. Go, 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 go. Shuck them. Okay. I'm getting some snow together to... Hold on, hold on. I got to shuck. I got to shuck oysters. Let's see. There it is. But you got to get a... We got to get a cloth. You need a cloth, yeah. Where's the... Where's the... What are you using? We're, we're using the paper towel. But what are you using to shuck it? Where's the shucker? What? Yeah, oh, that's the shot. No, this will break. It, it'll this will break. It'll break if you're not talented. Can't use that. It'll break if you're not talented. That thing is loud. Mute it. Sorry, guys. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, everyone. I gotta get the snow. I don't think you can use. You can use a, a tougher knife. I would prefer to use this over. I over I like knife. using a butter knife, but this enough. this it definitely. Uh, this will work on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Bad. No, no. Bad no. technique. Well, you got to use, you got to get a piece of cloth yeah. to put over it. Okay, well, you can't shuck it from. Because you'll, you'll push the knife through, straight through your hand. Get a towel. No, I don't want to mess around with these. Oh. Where did you get these? Sir, you are a novice. I am a novice in shucking oil. You are a novice. Here, I, I'm not doing it. I give up. I'm not doing yeah? it. Yeah? Okay. I am a novice yeah. in shucking oysters. I just buy oysters already shucked. Yeah, no, no, no. Uh, oh, yeah. I'm not doing it for the grand? Yeah, you are. Yeah. Everybody's watching. So, oh, here comes Nino yeah. again to break it and blame Tyler. Right? <laughs> so, we're using the same knife okay, this okay. guy just said not to use. Put our hand here. Yeah. Right? You can't see it. So we're gonna put the towel on it. Just get it right at the like tip point there. Okay. Right? And just wedge it. And then what? Well that knife is not very sharp. It's not it's okay. I don't it's know. Be careful. Use that to get through the little Oh my god. Membrane. Oh my gosh. Be careful. Oh he Pretty shocked it. He did it. And then there's a little little membrane. That little membrane, a little oh attachment. So we just slide Be it through. Be careful. Look at that. Wow. Just like that. So what are you guys going to put on it? Badman shaka. Where's the, where's the sauce? Uh, I the, got... The soy sauce. Make some pepper sauce. Yeah, we got oh, pepper sauce. Oh, you have horseradish? <gasps> yeah, there's horseradish there somewhere. There's horseradish. There's... um. You want some hot sauce? We got pepper sauce, too. There's a, there's a thing. There's a, there's a pepper sauce right there on the second shelf. Is it? Is it back there? Just yeah. I just bought one. This way. Yeah. Where do you have some stay? The way it's spur tree. You want one? Right here. Let me see them. Right here. Open it and just pour some vinegar on it. All right. Clean. Me, me hands can hold it. Some prepare it for me. Just take a knife. You you want vinegar on it? Yeah. Just pour some vinegar on it. I've never eaten it with vinegar. You want vinegar or you want soy sauce? Vinegar. UJ, grab the vinegar. It's just in the long cupboard at the bottom. That doesn't even look fresh. It doesn't? No. It's definitely good. Okay. So? Just gonna come I'm, used to, I'm used to going to Diane's Sweet and getting them fresh. That's yeah. right. That's actually Diane. Diane's Sweet. Diane's Sweet. Wow. Black's Tropical Homestead says you know the best place? he's a pro shucker. You know my best place to buy them thing, huh? Mm. You see up at up at the mall up up at Dan Mills. Um, yes, I know the one. Where the a Chinese you and them things fresh, like right? them seafood fresh, ice stuff, everything. Is that Throw in there. Throw it on it, man. All right. You're so my freshly shucked oyster. My grandfather's gonna.
take the first. Woo! Hey! <laughs> That's it. See, you see that are the root and the answer. Just, it, but up there, you, them, them seafood fresh. Fish, yeah. Everything fresh. How was it? You had one? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, it is. No, yeah. I don't want to. 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 Is, 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 this, is this oyster? This is what's left. That's, that's what's left. left. That's, that's what's what left. T.S. it road. Mom, come on. No, I can't. T.S. what? Just T.S. it. This is how you know I'm my grandfather. This is how you know my grandfather's grandson. And what do you do with this? It's, you can use it for decoration. <laughs> no, I don't want it. You know what? Careful, Jane. No, I'm scared. Do you shuck it? What one's here? Try it. I'm pouring it in. So, the, you know, again, you eat it. it in I'll eat it, but I'll eat it with, with, with uh, pepper on it. A shucking knife is a lot better, but you take it and right at the point here. You kind of hit it at, at an angle at the side. There's there's a top part and a bottom part. So you slip right in between the two. And the knife should go like a certain distance within. And then you just kind of wedge it. Twist your knife. Yeah. Exactly. Just twist the knife a little bit back and forth, Yo, back and forth. Let, let me let me show Rob, you. Don't, no, no, don't, no, no, don't. No, no, You're no, no, scanning. You're gonna get Why don't you do that? Let, let him do it. Let don't, him do don't, let him, him. don't let him do it. No, 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 no. It's fine. It's your wait, fine. Wait, wait, wait. It's okay. Rob, don't do Next it. Next thing you're going to want to race, you saying bolt. <laughs> because. Listen, man. Ty is doing this, it. Ty, I know hope this is your You want the ice, that's right. You caught yourself. Okay. And then you get inside. And then you just ride the knife along the top because there's a membrane that attaches the two halves. Right here, that's the membrane that attaches right. the two halves. You see? Try it. Put the knife, not no hop yourself. Mm -hmm. Put the knife between them. If, if you even broke it, you'll see it. Put it between it and open it. That's kind of dangerous because you, easy, you easy. don't even have an opening there. All right, new technique. All right. So I put the knife up there. Now put the knife up there. So here. put the knife. Who, My grandfather's the, saying put the knife. Yeah, here. right. There's no way to put the knife there. Though. You take your time doing me. I take your yeah, right. Okay. Can I get my phone? Right between. Sorry. And you hook the yes, as easy, easy. Right in between where? <laughs> yeah, exactly. There's nothing there. <laughs> Yeah, I grab my can't get it. right in between where you start. No. <laughs> I can't there's get nothing it. there to put anything. Go back the other way you're doing it. At least you, uh, you here can I, can, I can get somewhere. in. Yeah. <laughs> you go and walk the answer. That's true. You are true. You, my hands, them, not so nice. Make me, me can't walk me. I saw them when me, when me are walking from Jamaica. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You are getting some food for the way, man. All right, guys. So the, oyster, the oysters are shucking. Who's watching? watching? Yeah, they're watching. A true man, a true man can't hold it. It's not. Yeah, you guys are trying to. No, I'm not sure. Okay. Let's put this Juicy with Jay says he'll take his oyster right. roasted. <laughs> okay. Oyster Rockefeller. Move your hand from there, Jade. Gotta put your hand flat. Yeah. And then how did you, what did you do oh when you're going goodness. in? Just keep wedging. Be careful. Because when you keep miss, wedging. it'll go right into your hand. Keep wedging. Take your time. How strong do I do it? Oh Take your time. Take your time. Juicing with Jay's in the house. <laughs> it just went through? Okay, I have no idea what the hell I'm doing. No. <laughs> but you got it in ah, there. The yeah, night yeah, is in. Yeah, yeah. You're there. The you're there. in. You just keep wedging. Keep wedging. Okay, let me try again. <laughs> okay. What do you mean wedging and wedging? I just keep moving it back and forth. And then what? And you'll feel it open. You're trying to move the knife though. Rock it. I'm not rocking it. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can't eat oysters because you can't shuck them. You're so close. Shout out, shout out to Juicing with Jay. What up, Jay? Juicing with Juicing, juicing with Jay. I'll come. You, 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 you can cook come. Hmm? You can cook come, you know. Yeah, it comes very simple. You can, you, can, you can take more digestion. 
No, I can't take it out of the shell. Taking it out of the shell is pretty difficult. I can't take you it have to like put the hole in it, right? Yeah, you have to cut, bang I, the, the, the tail end of it. You have to bang it to, to push it out or something. You know, you know how to do it, Grandpa? Yeah, I think it's burning. I burned, burned them out. I'm burning the back. I'm in. And, and then it will drop, pop out? It goes, Joe, it comes. That's like eating snails. It's no different than eating oysters. No, a, no, listen. Trunk food that you know about if your feet trunk up, you listen, know, listen. You know, I don't I don't like to eat these oysters, though. they just don't look fresh. I don't know about you guys, but I grew up on SpongeBob SquarePants, and there's no way that I'm just gonna eat Gary the again, snail. All right, you guys, you guys, the chuck the shucking oysters and uh there you go. All right. Well, the shocking is over. I'm not having any of those oysters. Oh. I prefer the Diane sweet oysters that are just. Those oysters ah. actually do look like schnock. Juicing with Jay. What's up, my brother? Nice to have you here. Happy New Year. Come join the vibe and the family. We've been here chatting. <laughs> uh, listen, I can't even watch uh, Blacks. They're in there opening these things. And any moment now, I expect somebody to get a cut. I'm not, I'm not, no, not calling gonna get, it. They're not going to get cut based on the way they're doing it. I am just so the nervous about are, that. Their hands are oh. flat on top of it. Yeah. So even if the even if the knife slips, it won't get into the Oh, hand. that that doesn't look technique, like technique. that technique, technique doesn't look like something that I want to be part of. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Davis family says nope. Yeah, that can just I was, miss me. I would shuck those. Did you did you try it? No. I don't like them because they don't look fresh to me. They don't look fresh? Are they supposed to, to be alive? Yeah. Yeah. The, so they're supposed to be alive like lobster? They're supposed to be fresh though. I don't like the way they look. I think they probably bought those from us. Hey, where did you guys buy those oysters? From the supermarket. Where? No, no cuts, please. No, I'd have to go to Diane's Sweet to get fresh oysters. No. No, I don't want any cuts. No cuts, no cuts, no cuts. I would eat them. But and they have they them. have quite a few there that they that they have mm -hmm. to open up. They're just going to down them. Oh, no, just put, I can't. He said they're just gonna put horseradish on them and some hot sauce, and it's done. So I want to give a big shout out to Pinky shout AFM, out. who's been on and off moderating for this uh, live. Um, hey, Pinky AFM, did you? Uh, it, why did you invite? Uh, what's your name? Kels Cut and all them. Juicing with Jay says he'll take it. Grill. Can you grill horses? Yeah, you can have like oyster Rockefeller. You can just grill it. You can cook oh. oyster. You can actually cook it right in the shell or you can take it out. Oh, Davis family keeps saying, I repeat, no. <laughs> well, my father, who's very finicky and picky with anything, is in there gobbling up the oysters. What which I is love, shocking. What me. I love is conk. I love conk. I want to go to Bahamas just to have conk salad. Okay, here, this moderator wants to know at what date do we plan to take down our Christmas tree? Now, we discussed this we already. We discussed that earlier. So if the and moderator I, was around, the moderator would have known. Yeah, moderator, I will take down this Christmas tree as soon as I get some help to take it down and and bring all the big heavy boxes down to the basement into the storage room. How about that? How many boxes did you bring up for your mom to do the Christmas tree? <laughs> hey? No, he helped to bring it up. Same one as you, man. <laughs> I, I know I didn't bring do it up. any. Yeah. I know I didn't do any. What, what, what do you... Now, I showed you one of my favorite Christmas presents. Show them your favorite Christmas presents. Mm, are they, where are my Christmas presents? They're upstairs, right? No. Oh, you brought it upstairs, did you? Yeah. He has an exciting Christmas present. I can tell you what it is. Go get it. Yeah. But yeah, Christmas is over, um, and in true Elliot form, we do tend to keep the tree up a little bit longer. But hey, uh, when they make mine, they can pack it up. <laughs> what up? Oh, well, I can't. I couldn't imagine not having a tree, but yeah. Putting it up and taking it down is a bit of a pain in the neck. 
You're getting some blessings there, Pinky AFM. So Nino's up there rummaging, trying to find his his uh, Christmas present. That's going to be a bit of an adventure. Using that is my new my Christmas present. I got me a drone. Ah, my wife got me a drone, so I'm gonna be doing lots with this. Yeah. Getting some nice shots. Mm -hmm. Notice you haven't taken out of the box or read I, the instructions. I haven't even done anything, anything yet. And in true Nino form, he will take that out of the box yeah, and try and it. just wing it. He won't read any instructions, <laughs> and then he'll wonder why he can't operate it. That's true Nino form. I, on the other hand, will have that book read inside and out. Nobius Nor Nightshade said, damn! Mm -hmm. Damn! Now, he wants one too. I've always wanted one. I want to get some good shots with this puppy. Now, they're still in out. the kitchen carrying on with their oysters in there. Now, I just... Just imagine, <laughs> imagine on the golf course with my drone. I can see what the next hole looks Listen, like. Listen, <laughs> when you're on the golf course, you guys take your golf so seriously <laughs> that I couldn't imagine any of you with a drone. It'd be interesting, though. It would be interesting. It'd be fun. Well, we've had a good time this evening, guys. Do you have insurance? Ooh, that's quite the equipment there. Mm-hmm. Please read the instructions before you take it out because they expect, they expect you they expect you to lose the propeller so they put extra because <laughs> that is uh, delicate machinery yeah, this is that you don't funny. want you don't want to damage. Have fun. Yes, we're gonna have some we're gonna have some drone streams. Some drone, yeah, some drone shots. Yes, 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 yes. Mountains well, this has been islands. quite the evening, guys. Yes. And we're going to stay on for another 15, 20 minutes. That will put us to four hours. Wow. 15, 20 minutes. Thank you, guys. Stick with us. Let's get to the finish line. Yeah. And okay, Kel now Scott. that you're saying, Kel Scott. now that you're saying, rah, rah, rah. Uh -huh. Ouch. That's my toe. Sure. Um, that's quite a piece of equipment there. Lord, get my mind out of the gutter. Oh my gosh! Yes, please get it out of the gutter. Please get it out of the gutter. But yeah. I um, I need you all to look at this man's shirt. It's probably older than me. Well, guys, you got to understand something. That when you have a shirt that is one of your favorite shirts, and this is just one of. One of a couple of shirts that I've had for a long time. And um, you know how it is. Once you're used to something, you don't want to part with it. So if it's up to her, she, would, she wouldn't even launder the shirt. Just throw it in the garbage. No, we're not sitting Hold on. Up. So you want to take my drone and tell me to sit? No. No. Not going to happen. Drones fly at all types of heights. That's good. It's not going to That one ain't going to fly in the house. That one ain't going to fly in the house. Why would you fly it in the house? It's going to crash, bang, boom. You have such control. It's going to fly. It seems like you have a little. Well, it has to go outside. But anyhow, this shirt is so old, he refuses to get rid of it. And I told you today, I got this shirt from Sarah. How many years ago? This. Long time, Sarah. If you're still online, I got this shirt from Sarah. It was a, it was a Christmas gift exchange, Chris Kringle, and I've had this for at least 10, 10 years now. At least, at least, at least ten years. Well, no night flying, no house flying. Trey, why are you taking that out? Why are you taking it out? No night flying, no house flying. Huh? Okay. Yeah, well, you can't take my thing out of the box. Let me have the honor of doing that. That's kind of right of you to do that. Nobius, Nobius is saying clap, clap, clap. clap. It doesn't matter. It's just right of you to do that. <laughs> 
Davis family says, does the shirt have holes in it? It certainly Absolutely does. Not. No, it doesn't. It certainly it doesn't. does. Where? It certainly Where? does. Hole. Where? Bleach stain. Hole. Okay. Hole. Holes. And I would only wear this shirt in the house or to go to the gym. What's wrong? He with has that? a million shirts. You don't need this holy shirt no. anymore. It's yes, very old. That's fine. So am I. I'm very old too. What are you gonna throw me out next? Don't put your finger through my shirt. Wow. Yeah. So Davis family, the shirt needs to go. No, it doesn't. He has the shirt is fine. Drawers upon drawers of t-shirts. He doesn't need this shirt. Fine. And this is not the only shirt of its kind up there. It's actually one worse. There's one. This is one of three. This is no, it's two. No, there's a Fubu shirt. There's this shirt, and then there's a a beige shirt. That's all ripped. No, the beige is the Fubu. Oh, okay. The beige is the Fubu. Okay, okay. That shirt is a classic. That's going nowhere. I've had that shirt. I've had that shirt for over twenty years. (laughs) <laughs> From the sounds of the clapping, I think they have all the oysters open in there. And my dad is still carrying on about these oysters, very excited about the oysters. You didn't try one? No. I don't think they're fresh enough. I don't want it. No. And what happens when you don't eat a fresh oyster? I have no idea. I don't want to find out. <laughs> what happens when you don't eat a fresh oyster, guys? Does it make you sick? I couldn't. Oh, God. Well... If you eat sushi, you can eat an oyster, I guess. No, I don't know about that. What do I? I don't like I the eat? texture. The texture. What looks... do I do when I? What do I eat when I eat sushi? I don't. You eat sashimi. I eat sashimi. I eat tuna, or salmon sashimi. I don't eat a lot of the other craziness, like. Mm. Well, it. Uh... Davis family says, I'm with low on this one, Nino. If the finger can go through it, it's time to go. Davis family, let, let me let me tell you this. If I'm on your farm and I'm going out in the field and I decide to wear this, it's perfect. That's why I wear it in the house or at the gym. I don't wear it anywhere else. The gyms right now are closed. Mm-hmm. So you. So I should close the shirt. Yes. That's you why have. I'm, that's why I'm wearing it in the house. You've bought so many outfits for the gym. Mm-hmm. Brand new, still upstairs. Mm-hmm. It's time to retire that. I don't know about that. I'm not going. I'll never retire this. Okay. Actually, let I'll me never retire this family. I will never retire this. <laughs> Mr. Davis. Oh, Christ. How do you shop your machete? <laughs> Okay, you're dropping all your belongings there. Mm-hmm. Where's the same shop in the Hasn't answered what kind yet. Of question is that, <laughs> How do you know the man even has one? <laughs> if he's a farmer and he's a farmer, Davis family said if you wore that mm-hmm. on their farm, you'd probably die of heat. <laughs> and the Davis family said that they sharpen it with a file, yes. Okay. Yeah. Were you expecting a different answer? I know you till the soil. Do you use a fork to till the soil? A fork? Yeah. Oh boy, that would take a lot of work. All right. <laughs> but I'm sure they have equipment. You must use a fork, man. Uh, probably. Yeah. So, to, to are you gonna to cut? Can we cut the uh, quiche now and sample it? Absolutely. Okay. Can we do that? Absolutely. Because we're almost up to our four hours, mm-hmm. and at least we should be able to taste the fruits of your labor. So let's go, and we're we're, we're nearing the end of our lives. So let's taste our quiche and see see what we got. I want a piece of the shrimp. I was thinking about a shrimp as well. I want some shrimp quiche. Okay. I got to figure out which one is the shrimp. Though. We're back in the kitchen. This looks like it. That's, that's like the bacon. bacon. That's that the like bacon. bacon. So then, so oh. The process of elimination, though, that looks like a shrimp. Where? Right there. No. I'm telling you. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Let's have a shrimp. Where's the vegetable? Oh, no. Hmm? That's a bacon. That's a bacon. Take this one off. I think this is a vegetable. 
Okay. That looks like a vet still. So, so this one looks like a shrimp leash. You concur? And this is shrimp? Okay. I think these should go because they're very slippery. What? These things. What? The same the same oven mist that you made me drop used to drop the, the, yes. the quiche. You, you yes. think they should go? I think they should go. Because they're because slippery. They are, they are wow. very slippery. So after you have me ruin my quiche. Okay, come on. Cut. After you have me ruin my quiche, you're gonna tell me you're gonna tell me that now it should go. Oh, oh. The moment of truth, guys. <laughs> Davis family says fork and hoe. That's what they use. A fork and a hoe. Mm. Yeah. Ooh. <gasps> I want to hear how much category are you Miss Brown? Look at that, guys. Mm. Mm. You look, mm -hmm. look at that nice piece of shrimp. Mm -mm -mm. Look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. Look at that. Mm. You want to take the first bite? Davis family, this one's Hold for on. you. <gasps> oh my gosh, look at the shrimp. Mm, there should be shrimp in every bite. Oh my God. This is delicious. This is absolutely delicious. I want to make sure I get a piece of shrimp in my bite. Can I get that bite? Oh, wow. Mm. Really? Mm. Mm. Okay. It actually tastes quite mm. quite delicious though with the um the shrimp, the mushroom. I think this is probably the best quiche you've ever made. Quiche. Guys, you have to try this mm. at home. This is heavenly. This is good. Now you can put whatever you want in there. This is really good. Make it your own. Mm. This is quite tasty. But this is really good. And the good. shrimps really give it another, really took it to another level. I think the coconut milk. Mm. The coconut milk gave it a little, I can taste that kind of like a little hint of sweet. Mm. Oh, that's good. Guys, believe me, this is this is what them call tapa tapa. <laughs> this is delicious. Very delicious. So this has been a great mm. evening, guys. I think we'll do this again, where we chat and cook. Mm. This is fantastic. The only problem that I'm finding now is that there's no more shrimp in here. <laughs> so are you eating shrimp or are you eating quiche? I'm eating both. Davis family says they don't want to make it their own. They want to make these their own. <laughs> <laughs> and nobody yeah, says... This, oh, it's look, I found, look at this. I found a piece of shrimp. And look who's jealous, Mr. Edwin Rosa Soto. Oh, Edwin. Wow. You are missing this, had buddy. You, had you just stopped by, you could have had some of this, Edwin. Edwin, make sure you give us a thumbs up. Look at that. Look at all those over there. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It has been a great evening, guys. And I thank you all for taking us through these hours, making the quiche, and having a few laughs. And thank all of you that stuck with us throughout this mm -hmm. live. Davis family. Special thanks to the Davis family. Blacks Tropical Homestead, Nobius Nightshade. Who else was here? Tariq. Tariq. Um, at Juicing with Jay stop by. Juicing with Jay. King, mm -mm. stop by. King. Best yet, journey. Thank you guys a bunch. Big up on herself. <laughs> uh, Annie Complex that was here and Sue. I probably forgot to mention half of you, but thank you so much. Uh, this was a fun evening. It's been fantastic too, Davis. Davis family. And I look forward to watching you guys on your farm. Hey, we still got seven minutes. Yeah, we do. Ask him, ask him <laughs> My dad wants to know. 
How many types of yam do you guys grow on your farm? He's very interested to know how much types of yam you grow. Mm -mm. This is good. For another piece? No. I think I'm good. How much, how much type of yam? In he has not answered yet. You take a, a sliver. Okay, you have a sliver. And you're not going to touch it? No, no, I'm done. Okay. Did they answer me how much types of yam they grow? You see? I'm sure you. No. They're just planning for their home use. Yeah, but Renta and Lucy. Just Renta and Lucy. Well, you know how much type of yam you got? Let me give you some. Yeah. You have Hafu yam. You have Mozilla. You have St. Vincent. You have Renta. You have Sweet yam. <laughs> you see, you see more yam you got? I, and I, I go in at the store and I can pick them out and show you. Noblest nightshades. I'm not a huge fan of yam. All right. And yam are, yam are, yam are one of the most products most farmers farm, farm because of that you eat. Yam. Yam and potato. You have sweet potato. You have, you have hey, Shani Boo. Happy New Year to you too. Welcome. Potato. You have pumpkin potato. You have flagal potato. You have Irish potato. What if I do? You like that to be mm -hmm. like them there, you know, where, where, where I do our thing, you know. But they, they, will get, they will learn from Well, me. tonight we decided to cook. Um, we decided to make quiche. And we made three different types of quiche. There they are right there. That one we just cut. That's a shrimp quiche. We've also got a uh, bacon quiche as well as uh, vegetarian. So that's what we cooked tonight. We've been having a good chat for the last few hours. Well, we're wrapping up. Woo! That was good. Spicy but good. We're wrap. Oh, you finished all your... your... We went in. Well, you can say bye to your peeps in your time. We're wrapping up. So David's family said, yes, Dad, I know all those. It's just three of us, so we plant we plant a little of everything. Did you hear that, Rob? Yeah. They said it's just the three of them, so they, they plant a little of everything. They don't they don't they only plant enough for them to eat. What's that? Plant what? Yeah, where I was asking them about what they plant. Oh, where do they live? In Jamaica. Oh, on a farm in Jamaica, that sounds very interesting. So they plant. So say bye. We're going to sign off in we still four got three minutes. minutes. Take care. And now you promised that you are going to come back and make some ramen. Ramen. Yes. Yes. We have some. We're requests. just going to hang on. Hang tight, guys, for about three more minutes just so we can meet, reach to, our to, personal to goal. Our mark, which is our personal goal. Juicing with Jay, shrimp and vegetable. And Here's vegetarian. Sent to California. California. <laughs> do I do I list the ingredients beforehand on like a TikTok or something? No. No, no, no. You don't have okay. to. Okay. We, 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 we post Tyler, it. Tyler, talk, talk to the people. Me. Yeah, the I got ramen. you guys on the, uh, the ramen. Um, the noodles themselves would definitely be packaged ramen. Probably the broth as well. We won't go that that deep, but you can I'll teach you guys how to like dress it and all that stuff. You, you can know? say goodbye yeah. in Japanese. Say goodbye in Japanese. Everybody knows how to say Actually, that. Actually, listen, Jay. How? Jay speaks Japanese? No. Jay definitely Jay does not, does speak, not Japanese. speak Japanese. Jay is Chinese. Jay is from Hong Kong. How about with Jay? Oh, yes. Jay. Jay, not Jay. Yeah. Yes, I believe. Yeah. Okay. A ramen masterclass. Uh, I wouldn't call it a masterclass. I would just call it a ramen class. <laughs> Definitely not a master, but I could teach you how to do something. Yeah. Definitely. It's pretty. Uh, it's pretty good. Like I showed you guys before, I got the. Um, 
the uh, I bought a roast and I just cut it up into thin slices. So this is what I'll be using. <laughs> Edwin wants to know when is this ramen thing being made? Wow. <laughs> you're too, you're He's too hungry out belly. Juicing with Jay. And no, he doesn't speak Japanese. Okay, there was somebody that Ooh. was in our live. Jay, not Jade. Jay. He says he doesn't speak Japanese. But uh, I thought there was... I, did it start with a D? It was a red a red uh, picture, I remember. No, that was Annie Complex that was talking about it. But there was somebody else before. Yes. I don't know the uh, chat. Uh, Shani chat. Been saying cool. hi, cousin-in-law, to you. Yo, what's up? Another, so there is somebody else that spoke Japanese. Yes, that you spoke to wow. them in mm -hmm. Japanese. Tatsunoso. 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 That's not even Japanese. That's, yeah, that's... that's... Peace. I think, I think he said bye. <laughs> I think that was bye in Japanese. And let me translate for you. Oh, my God, I'm a bit. <laughs> well, guys... Thank you so much for you staying guys with have us. Been amazing. And if you didn't already give us a thumbs up on your way out, please give Show us a the thumb, thumbs cause you know, up. Because you know Google likes to see YouTube, those thumbs. YouTube, oh, so did I say Google? Google. YouTube, YouTube likes, to see, the likes thumbs. to see those thumbs. Oh, shit. What did you do? I just oh. turned the stove on by mistake. Oh, you silly beast. Damn. That's okay. I'm <laughs> like, here, wondering why is it getting warm? <laughs> um, yeah, so just give us a thumbs up on your way out. And we thank you so much for hanging with us. And I hope everybody has a great weekend. Do something that is fun. Get outside if you can. And just have a great weekend, everybody. Oh, I need my glasses. I can't see. That. All right, guys. It's been wonderful. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Yes. Enjoy. Start off with an amazing week. I wish you guys all the best next week. And we'll do this again soon, guys. Peace out. Take care. Bye-bye.